is a, a damn travesty. So that's a bolt is all right. Yeah, if you like garbage, I guess. No, they if you like something different, if you like, gar- if you like didn't garbage, didn't go well, but they tried something different at least. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what's so try, wrong with it? Though? Why try something different? Because everybody was like, you know what, Banjo Kazooie is like, oh, that's well, no, because want, here's the thing. Anymore. You either never do anything different, like Pokemon, and people bitch that you do nothing different, or you try something different, and then people bitch because it's like, ah, it doesn't ever fucking do anything different. You can't use Pokemon as an example, because Pokemon comes out every fucking year, where Banjo, that was like, what, eight years after the last one? I was just like, oh boy, a new Banjo game came out. but, but, but also, hey, that's like if a new Mario Kart came out ten years later, but it was a fucking airplane game or but, something. I was like, what pl- the fuck? Platformers back then weren't that big in 2008. It wasn't 2008? I think 2008, 2009. Yeah, it was 2008. Yeah. yeah, platformers weren't weren't popping right around, around then. That, that's why they 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 retired Crash and Spyro around then for a while. Yeah, but then don't make Banjo Kazooie. Call it something else. Call it freaking ukulele or something. It's just call it call it something else. Well, that's what they were going to do, though. They were going to call yeah, it something different. Yeah, that's why they different. made you lately. <laughs> well, no, they were going to call it something different, but then they realized it was definitely not going to sell without some names on there. I thought the game was all right. Like, I mean... Oh, grabbed by the ghoulies. You know, the, you know, you know, this you is a good conversation. You don't think the, uh, the beginning of, of Nuts and Bolts is funny? No. I love He's the beginning. Fat? Yeah, hilarious. they're fat, and they're like, oh, we've been playing games all this time. It's great. And then you gotta do a challenge with them, and they're just their fat asses just can't even run. I'll gonna blur you with podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> so fifteen. I that was yeah, awesome. fifteen. Um, I you know what I've I've come to terms that I don't even mind their designs that much back then. Oh, I they, they weren't they weren't as I, good as the original. Kazooie all. looked fine, but Banjo's Kazooie pretty Kazooie for sure stupid. looked fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know that that was still that wasn't even like a Microsoft change. That was definitely a rare thing. Like they were they were already like in prototypes of making it more like Square when they were trying to make a third third game. But um, right. I don't know. I, 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 I like Banjo Kazooie quite a bit, but I'm not. I wouldn't say like I know everything about it. I played those games my entire life. I'm just I like, like Banjo Kazooie. Like Banjo Kazooie is like one of my my favorite games. Uh, Two bolts just not fun. It was Tui, boring. As fuck. I didn't like Tui as much because it's way too fucking big. But I'm gonna go back and play it before he comes out and smash. And Nuts and Bolts, he... I might do too, just because I feel like I played that game and I had fun. I like I like building my own cart and flying around. Shit, I thought that was fun. But yeah, I, everyone talks good. so much shit on it that I'm like, did I just like play Mod Nation Racers? Well, play fucking Banjo Kazooie. Nation... For... Well, that's different. It was, it, was probably making, better. it was making really cool cars and flying them around. Sometimes you made some weird dumbass car where it was like so heavy you're barely fucking flying. Good fucking times. kill me. <laughs> fucking kill me. Uh, kill me. Walking the Blue Ruby podcast, yeah. So, is there a video game podcast post every week? Cool. Got, got the boys here, got David, got Chris. Yep. What are you laughing at? Don't. It's gonna take me a second, but don't worry about it just yet. Oh, he's he's, <laughs> right, he's I might have an important news update for you guys. Oh, he bought oh, a Zebo. Oh, yeah, I got I got I got a apartment. <laughs> he got the Zebo. Did he? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Keep going. <laughs> I, uh, uh, speaking of important news update, fuck David for posting all these dumbass articles because that week that we talked about Astro Chain being a trilogy, they said like an hour later. By the way, that was mistranslated. It definitely wasn't meant to be. Uh, that's uh, kind of sad and heartbreaking. Oh, no. How do you know? Maybe the game sucks. <laughs> it comes out, it's, like, worse than, like, the Legend of Korra game they made. That game's spoopy. Uh, hey. this week, we got some, we got some Nintendo Switch Lite stuff to talk about, which happened, that was nice to happen today, because usually, today, usually yeah. our luck, important. usually our luck is it happens the day afterwards, and our just right. fucking podcast is outdated. Yeah. Uh, i gonna be honest. I don't know any of these other fucking articles you posted, David. So, well, we'll <laughs> a bunch get to of other it. stuff. Well, there's Fun. a couple things I know. I know. I know all about um, uh, EDF, kind of. Not really. Oh, yeah. But uh, um, what was the other thing? The Cuphead cartoon. That, that's exciting. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We got that. Uh, some more GTA stuff, which happened, which is kind of funny. Uh, yeah. So, so if I share my. Give me a second here. No, don't share your screen. That's gonna fuck up my my video. Oh, that will mess up the recording? Yeah, to, 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 well, just move that. your webcam so we can see your camera. Well, what, what you just tell us what you're doing. No, he's going to do it. Do it. Yeah, I want to see your computer. I'll okay, pay to the people watch. 
<laughs> I, bought, I just bought a Zebo. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I want to see oh, the order. <laughs> well, speaking of that, that's because he's not going to Evo. What? Yeah. No, no Evo? So you guys well, Evo? Also no Evo, because... so Zebo. <laughs> oh, no, it's also that's because that's the title of this, of, this, of this podcast. Go. Yeah. No Evo, so Zebo. <laughs> no, no Evo, so Zebo. <laughs> but no, uh, so TLDR. Why Evo been... when you can Zebo? <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I've been watching the Zebo like a hawk, right? right? To the point where I think our podcast legitimately did create some artificial interest in it. Then, because <laughs> you know what? You know what? You, no, you know what? You know what? You know what? That's that. I would. I wouldn't even fucking say the joke because notice that we looked at Zebo that was up for like a month. It had like two watchers. All of a sudden, there's like 15, 16, 17 people watching that now. Yes. Also, that same one that has 15 people watching it uh, was taken down and put up for a hundred bucks more. Just well, coincidentally, after we started talking about it a lot on the podcast. So Zebo, if you want to sponsor the podcast. Uh, but yes. yeah. there was yeah. one person selling it complete in box that has a good reputation on eBay for only 200. Oh fuck yeah! Oh. So it comes complete a box with the full keyboard, controller, all that shit. Uh, for 200 bucks, no shipping and handling, just straight up. Here's full completed box Zebo. Wow, watch it gonna be just a box. No Evo, getting the Luckily, Zebo. You from shit like that, why so. Evo when you can Zebo, dude? Yeah, yeah. Why when you can Zebo. Yeah, uh, Evo, yeah. Evo won't last forever. Zebo will. Yeah, Zebo's still around. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will have uh, <laughs> in September, I'll have a Zebo arriving September. at my house. <laughs> September <laughs> <laughs> estimated delivery 37 to 45 business days. Where, where is it from? Brazil. Oh, oh, yeah. but straight straight from the source. Although I order <laughs> shit from Japan all the time, and that shit will get here in like fucking four days. Yeah, top. but Brazil, it's gotta go through all those like booty festivals that they have and stuff. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Speaking of Zebo, what else are you gonna be playing, David? <laughs> uh, uh, for just talking about playing stuff, uh, I've been playing a dick ton of Milk and Legendary Alchemist and uh, EDF5. All right, hold nice. on. I need to get my. Here and of course, you and I have been playing Tekken. Oh, yeah. When I finally got a perfect on you. <laughs> you did. Oh, you did? Yeah, finally oh, got boy. a perfect on him. Because you want to talk about what happened uh, that one time? Yeah, so uh, we should splice it into the podcast right here. So if someone put up a time marker for this, yeah, so we can have time marker. one of you two See? splice it in. Yep, I have my time. I have my time card here. I use this for the movie one, so, <laughs> so I don't need to tell him to do the time. Now I can just do this. Uh, so Adrian for and I have been practicing a lot for Evo because I originally was gonna go, <laughs> and then family shit came up. Uh, this is the problem with having old people in my family as they all start to die around the same time. I don't know what wow. it is. Uh, but so we've been practicing for Evo and Adrian and I have been entirely back and forth. You know, sometimes we'll hit periods even, where he even, gets a wind streak on me. Even, and though, I will. even though I like to say that I was not only playing on a fight stick for the first time, but I was playing a whole new character, but you know, keep going. To be fair. I also just switched to Lily as a main, so I don't want to hear it as a main. You yeah, I want to switch back to wherever your main was back. Uh, I was using yeah. Oscar as my main before. Okay, I probably wouldn't. I don't know. Hey, yeah. That's the way. Yeah, that's the Tekken character. Yeah, there you go. Fucking nailed it. Awesome. But uh, we were going back and forth, and we had one match where I got him down to fucking this much. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, this a, a, a much. true Gore quote: uh, "A nat dick hair away." From and, that. and that's dick hair away. <laughs> And I was just one hit away from a perfect. And then suddenly my brain shut off and I was getting hyper aggressive. And Adrian pulled a fucking Justin Wong on my ass and completely Dude. took me out without getting that last hit on him. I, I ran at me like an idiot. He ran at me like an idiot. So I, super I ran at you like an idiot. I kept, I tried to parry your fucking super for some goddamn reason. I don't know why. And uh, I went for the slowest fucking startup kicks against you, and uh, I got a lot of stupid for that. So, yeah. but I finally made up for it. I got a straight perfect on him, and I feel better about myself as an individual now. It almost happened twice, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gore, what you been playing? Well, is he done? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been playing Mario Maker still. Hell yeah! It's fun. It's a good game. Really fun. It's 
good shit. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying that. I've just been playing uh, stages and stuff. I still need to. I, I got like a bunch of stages to play right now because I, I I asked a bunch of people to Are you sorry send me theirs. No, I haven't yet. But um, I'm gonna yeah, do mine. like probably. Yeah, I have to. I, well, I did. I, I I didn't put it in yet, <laughs> but I have it. I still have a bunch of stuff to put in because it's I, fucking like long. They do like some people send me like three stages. And I'm like fuck. And just yeah, type I uh, I was gonna make a really hard stage like one of those fucking assholes. I think uh, you know what? I think I have a bunch of them that are hard stages. I hope someone. <laughs> I hope someone's faking it to you and just sent you someone else's hard stage. Well, the, I, maybe there might be, but uh, there, some of them don't have like too many clears or anything. But uh, if if it does, it'll be like one clear of like two hundred tries. I'm like, oh my god. I, like, well, I was gonna make a really hard one, but then you were asking for it the other night, so I was like, fuck it. So I spent like about half an hour making a stage, and right. it's like, all right, I'm, I'm not. I like I, if I edit it a bit, I could make it better, but uh. It's not, that, it's not that hard, but uh, no, nah, I'm already just I'm just go go try it. See, yeah, see how you do. All right. Uh, yeah. So you let you enjoy, dude. I I like playing just the super hard levels in that, and so far I've I've cleared every single like hard level I was dedicated on until right. last night when I don't know why when I was half asleep. But I'm gonna try this level. Played it, died about 15 times. I'm like, I'm I'm too tired. I can't I can't process <laughs> what's going on. So I, I was trying to make a. I was trying to make a level yesterday. I don't really play too many of the hard levels, but I just play whatever ones I find that are interesting, like that sound interesting, whatever. Like I go to new courses or whatever, I just start playing shit. But uh, there was one, there was one that I mean, it's one of those ones where you just keep, you know, you just like hold the left and it plays itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so I tried to make a Mario level that's kind of like that, and I'm having a hard time. I'm I'm trying, but I'm trying to make it not like. I... When people make Obvious. Levels, I'm trying to make it like cool. You know? Right. When like, people make levels, just... you're just like, huh, that's cool. But then when you get into the maker, you're like, that damn, that's that's actually a lot yeah, more difficult than you think it is. Yeah. Um, it's it, man. The, the, I I just wish. And you mentioned this actually in your uh, Switch Lite uh, thing. I don't know why, but yeah. uh, I I it makes me wish miss the Wii U gamepad just with the stylus yeah. and just tapping everything and doing all that because. Yeah, you know, I wish they had like some kind of pad. It makes no sense, by the way, but uh. Why. As a, that make no sense. It would be just like the you draw pad. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> you you drag the stylus know, around. You I have know. the cursor move around. I, I was hoping I was hoping you didn't say anything because I was about to quote you uh, on Twitter just out of context, being like, "They should what? make a you draw for Switch." <laughs> Real suggestion yeah. from Gore the Movie Guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but yeah. Uh, no, it's just like it's just like a towel. I, I get what you're it's saying. Just, oh. it, uh, yeah. what, else, what else are you playing? I don't know. Uh, more Phoenix, all right. I finished the second uh, case of the second game, so now I'm on the third one. Slowly getting through that, but um, I already played that game. So, uh, besides that, though, Mario Maker, that uh, we, played, we played a little bit of Apex. Yeah, a little bit of Apex. Sure. You like it's it, or are you are you still like? Eh. Yeah, yeah, no, I like it. I've always liked it. <laughs> I've been playing it more and more lately, and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, it's a fun game. For sure, it's it's a lot faster paced than uh, PUBG, especially PUBG, but <clears throat> Fortnite as well. Uh, map's not too big. Uh, the ultimates are cool. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. We got what? What place did we get? Like third place, I think. Yeah, pretty pretty high. Pretty got pretty cool. No, second. You're second. You're fighting one more team. There was just one team left. And you thought there was only one guy left, but someone like attacked yeah. you. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Gore, Gore got flanked, and I was like, fuck that. So I threw, like, four Yeah, there was a there. bunch of them there. I, I killed one of them. them. Yeah. Well, I knocked down one of them, I should say. I didn't kill him. But, um, yeah, there was, like, two other dudes there, so I got fucking killed. So I was log grenades in there like a motherfucker and killed the whole squad. Fuck that squad. Yeah. Fuck them. If you're watching, you know who you are. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Pieces uh, of shit. Anything else? Nope. That's it. I can't think of anything else I played. So. Cool. Uh, I ended up getting that Rainbow Six Siege thing, the uh, Year Four Operator thing. Okay. So I'm playing a little bit more Siege. That's fun. Uh, more Apex. Oh, I'm gonna start Destiny Two soon, I think. Uh, I'm wait. I, I might just wait till n- September when they do the, the update where they're gonna make the whole free to play thing. Right. Um. So I'm not sure. Uh, more Persona. So. Oh, yeah. Where am I at now? I just um, I just finished their exams. Okay. So I finished the first palace. I finished their okay. exams, so I'm kind of just chilling, doing my own thing in the uh, in, in mementos. 
Yeah, you know, I'm still I'm still waiting out for that Switch game version. You know, it's coming. Don't fucking shake your heads. If I finish the game before you, <laughs> that that Switch version happens, that, that's a crime. Wait, it's gonna wait. happen though. Yeah, yeah. How long do you think it's gonna take you to fucking finish that game? You're already like a few hours in, obviously. It only took me a uh, hundred and two hours to hundred percent. Yeah, but, but, but you know how long. <laughs> it only took me a hundred. You know, you know how, yeah, but that's not one hundred percent of the game. <laughs> but you know how rare it is for me to ever finish a game. I like, yeah, that's me not percent a hundred percenting the game. <laughs> uh, also, hours. I was reading, I was reading on Persona Four of the Royal or Persona Five of the Royal. And uh, I was trying, trying to get a gauge for whether or not I'm actually fucking up by doing all this stuff. And, and the way it's looking is that they're not letting cross saves happen because the game is apparently different enough to be to warrant a whole new game to play through. So. Yeah. But well, they probably, said they uh, still will have like some kind of. They'll have bonus. some sort of, of, of reward for people with save saves of uh, Persona Five. But no. uh, apparently, if it's if it's I'm enjoying it a lot. So. Uh, if it's if it warrants a whole new playthrough, I'll probably do that again. Actually, next uh, year. I will say once you get th- uh, Palace Three, after that the game fucking holds the drag shoot for like sixty hours. So that's fair. I, I thought that was the same with Persona Four Golden, or after after like two or three palaces or dungeons or whatever you want to call them, that yeah. uh, it just it just slammed the brakes on you for a little while. But it's fine. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean by slamming the brakes? Like you have to keep playing, like grinding, or you have to? Keep no, talking? basically the story hits a point that. where you understand a major revelation, but the characters don't. Oh, okay. And so it spends the next legitimately like thirty hours of in-game time, not counting like the time to do dungeons and everything, but strict story time, thirty hours mm. to fucking let them get caught up to what you figured out from that scene. And then it's just like, okay, we're now where we're I was at thirty hours ago. Now the story can progress. Okay. Finally. Now, when you figured it out, was there a reveal off screen where camera, like the characters weren't there to see that? Did no, you figure it so out yourself? Yourself? You don't, yes. you don't need to, yeah, did you yeah, figure it out? Because, oh, you just there figured is it out a okay. dialogue that happens. Okay. And one character involves themselves in the conversation. Okay. Leave it the there. conversation it makes it in up. universe. They should have had no way to understand the conversation that was having, uh, that the group was having, unless they were involved somehow. So it's one of those things that's like, oh, okay, this is exactly what's going on. But the whole cast of characters just don't question it. They're just like, oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, whatever. And then they just continue on. It's like, that that was the obvious. Um, right. Well, at least it's hey, fun. <laughs> Um, it's not. It's a good it, game. It's, it's, it's making a, me. It's what making, are you playing it on? What? Like what? What difficulty? What are you playing on? Normal. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why uh, I started. On. It. It makes me kind of want to go back to Persona 4 Golden. Uh, and because I, 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 I'm, I'm reacquainting myself with the mechanics, and I'm assuming they're not too different. I don't, as far as I recall, uh, I don't think they're too different. Leveling uh, is a lot different, just because of the fact that Persona 4 Golden had like the kind of randomizer components to it as well. Right, but but the basic elements aren't different, so I'm yeah, like, I feel like I could, I could probably jump back into Golden and and not be too, too far off of no, everything. No. No, Golden's pretty simple, I thought. Yeah, it's fun yeah. too. Well, um, it wasn't too crazy when it comes to its mechanics. I didn't, doing, I didn't think so at least. Been doing Mario Maker two as well. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm super excited for when the the play with friends update happens. Why? Uh, it's wanna, laggy and shitty anyway, so who cares? I don't want to play with randoms. Fuck that. But it's laggy though, right? It's. I'm assuming it's laggy because people play on their asshole Wi-Fi connections. Which, by the way, spoiler <laughs> alert: get ready for that that Switch light because that's gonna bring a lot of uh bad connection Wi-Fi players on the. Which is oh, weird. Yeah. Which is so strange. Like why they have to fix their Wi-Fi thing, right? Because not everybody's Wi-Fi is shitty. It has to be the it has to be the Switch, right? Is it something? Because I mean, it's got to be the switch. It has to it, be the it's switch, part right? of the switch, and I think not, and I not think everybody's it, Wi-Fi sucks ass. Like it's part of the switch, but I think also just in general, Wi-Fi is just like not a good. It, compared to even though like I've actually not had too much of issues issue with Wi-Fi, just hardwire in general, it's just so much better. Yeah, and I, I've actually I've noticed that like my original Xbox, when it comes to like uh, the Wi-Fi, like, I don't know why it just didn't work well, but then the S worked really well. 
And it was the same. It was the same internet too. Uh, and then uh, and then I got the Xbox One X, and that was great too. So. But uh, get ready for that Switch Lite to fuck up some online stuff. So, I didn't think about that until someone mentioned it. I'm like, God damn it. I mean, I use Wi-Fi. I'm fine. So every time I play online. But my Wi-Fi is pretty good. So You're also next to your router, aren't you? Yeah, it's like right fucking there. So Yeah, that, that helps. Um, but if it is the Switch, then it, I don't think it would matter. I, like I How said, close I, you I are to your router. I think there's a lot of... Uh, I think in general, though, I've, I've not had that much issue with Wi-Fi. Um, especially mm. when I have used it. But I try to hardwire whenever I can. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so Mario Maker 2. I'm playing anything else? Um, not just Overwatch. Alright, Gore, what'd you buy? Oh, who, me? Yeah. You said Gore? Yeah. Alright, All right. I guess I'll, I got a lot of shit. Somebody else want to go? Hey, First, I got a lot of shit, too. Because I also quit vaping. So I got a lot of money now that I can play around. You quit, hey babe. You quit, you quit, baby, for one week, and suddenly you have a bunch of money. (laughs) (laughs) I know because I know what I budget my money out for, so it's one of those things that uh, I know how much money I get back by quitting vaping. So he has all this money, but he's just like constantly like scratching his neck. I'm just like, just like, I'm gonna get my next vape. All right, I guess I'll go. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a person that, honestly, I get addicted to things very easily, but I can quit very easily as well. So I'm day three, and I'm fine now. A little angry, but I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I I got this a few weeks ago, actually, in California. I forgot to show off. Uh, I got this at a record store, ironically enough. A little Farrah. Whoa, Farrah. A little Farrah. One of those things, yeah. Yeah, the, from the, the loot, loot boxes. gaming ones. Yeah. Yeah. I got that. I forgot I had that. Um, let's see. Cute, uh, from my, from my, stuff, from my huh? Think Geek, I got, oh, yeah. uh, I got this motherfucker who now hangs above my, uh, my computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, I feel, hey, look, feel left out. Fuck David. Hey. Fuck him! Fuck David! Fuck him! 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 GameStop had a sale, yes. so I ended up getting Sushi Strikers. Yep. Uh, I I was holding on this for digital because I really did not want to buy a physical, but uh, that game has not gone on sale once since launch. And no, I'm not, not sure. On, I, on digital? Am I game, I'm, I'm, oh, digital? digital? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. No, no. Th- this game's been on sale a lot. I, I almost bought it on, on Newegg for like 12 bucks last week. Um... But it never goes on sale digital, which I don't get. So I just, I just bit. And I'm like, whatever. I'll do it. Uh, I also got, speaking of Persona, I got the Persona Endless Night Collection. I was thinking again, that too. Which it comes with uh, Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight, Persona 5, Dancing in Starlight, and it comes with a digital code for Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Yeah, they're pretty uh, good games. games. If you like yeah, rhythm I, games. Yeah, and I heard... Uh, I really liked the uh, Dancing All Night. Yeah, I heard 3 and 5 were, like, not really full games but together they can be but four is definitely the full game of them all so yeah, I'm excited. yeah it's weird were they full price games both like separately yeah, yeah. and i got it before. well they were 40 dollars each but oh i thought they were full price, oh, they're full price. I thought they were, it was 80 if you bought the both of them i thought maybe 50 maybe it's 50 well it was only 80 if you got both of them but when you got both of them it came with the download for four as well yeah which one that yeah. comes with maybe they were 50 each i don't know because i know they were separate uh, separate yeah they were separate um, maybe it was fifty. I'm pretty. They're at least fifty for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I got that. That's cool. Um, at my game shop, I traded in some stuff. So I had a bunch of store credit. So I got, I got Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, oh nice. I'm happy to have. <laughs> and this one, I'm super excited to have. I've I've been want I've been wanting this game for a long time, a long time. And uh, it's always been on Xbox, and, and they always let me know, because they know I want it, but I didn't really want it on Xbox, I didn't want to get four controllers. And I saw it on this console, and I had enough of, of store credits, I didn't have to spend any money on it, so I got 
Def Jam. Oh, oh yeah. Fight for New York on GameCube. Yeah, GameCube is the, like the most the, expensive the one. Yeah. So. Yeah. I didn't like, realize the GameCube version was ex- uh, expensive. PS2 ones are, are expensive too, and Xbox, but but the GameCube is the most expensive one. Yeah, and I was looking at that. I was like, should I get it? And then I looked online. I was like, oh, how shit. much did you spend? Uh, the price on it right now is sixty bucks, but I had enough store credit that I just got it. Oh, you just got it. okay. Yeah, sixty is good. Yeah, sixty is really good because nice. uh. It yeah, goes, Def Jam Fight for New York Street. anywhere from 60 to 90. I'm, I'm going to take your tongue oh, and lick shit. my ass with it. I did not realize that it goes for that much. Yeah. yeah. Huh, about that shit. Uh, All right, play, well, Red, play it, yo. Play, first time you play it, play Red Man. Uh, he has the best intro. I just said it. You know, I don't know if you're a yeah. <laughs> just, I say it all the time, though. I, I came, I saw, I just kicked your ass. He might say that, too, but my favorite one is really like, I'm going to take your tongue and lick my ass with it. <laughs> Says so just like that. Too. Actually, no, I think that was Slave of Flav that said the line I did. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember Henry Rollins tr- trains you in the story mode. Oh, yeah. and, and Snoop Dogg's the villain. I don't remember too much about it though. Uh, I remember Sean Paul like is your friend for a little bit, and then he's like, "No, fuck it, I'm gonna burn your house down and kill oh, yeah. your girlfriend." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and then yeah, somehow yeah. That, that that leads you to fighting Snoop Dogg at the end or something like that. Yeah, because <laughs> somehow gang warfare happens by fist fighting in these fucking death yeah, so match cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of course. And yeah, then uh, whenever you lose, your title of your club is passed on legally, of course, uh, to the next person that wins. It's like It's like racing in pink slips, except fighting in your bar. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I was, I, I've been wanting that for a long time, and I've wanted to play a uh, four-player with it. But I didn't want an Xbox. I had to, it's a I really know. fun game. I didn't that, want that to game, buy. They, they didn't even make a remake of that, or, or just like port it. Fuck it. Yeah, I didn't want to have to to buy four controllers for it. So I was like, yeah, give it, give it. Just I'll wait, and then showed up, showed up on GameCube. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm in. Yeah, let's do I get that. that. That's a fun game. Yeah. So I, I had a good haul. This the story time. mode's great too. I mean, I made fun of it, but it's really. I mean, it's great in a goofy. It's like fifty cent blood way. sand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of fucking. Dude's coming out and saying dumb shit, and it's just like the story is really it's like bad. The podcast. I immediately yeah. have buyer's regret. Why? I just realized there's no way to add games onto the Zebo. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we 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 discussed this, remember? Yeah. 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 Fuck it. This will be a neat little thing, and it's got some games already You're on it. Did you really? Did you really want to play a shitty version of Resident Evil Four on there? <laughs> just... Oh well, I have no means to. But uh, no, nah, this one you comes... You're probably getting modded, right? Yeah, there, there's no a... one's done yeah. any work on it because who cares about the no, Z? No, no, no. Right? We 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 talked about that, didn't we? That some guy. Yeah, unloaded... you could put it on a cart or something, right? And some guy unloaded there. everything. Yeah. Uh, I tried to find it uh, again, but I can't find it. But I'll have to look into that. But at least the one I bought comes with Crash Bandicoot, Nitro Kart 3D, and oh. Tekken 2. So you know what? I at least oh, you're, I ready. you're ready for Evo. Evo now. Yeah, you're ready for Evo. Crash, Crash is, is new again because it's out. And again. And Bring the Zebo to Evo. Zebo to Evo, baby. <laughs> I, just I want need to say. a Goji pocket still. Uh... Z- all right, David, what'd you get? Uh, Zebo. <laughs> yeah, you got the Zebo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking live on camera. In about three and a half Zebo. years, we'll see it. But uh, so, other than the Zebo, uh, digitally, I got uh, Overcooked, uh, Thimbleweed Park. Hell yeah. Uh, Sixty Parsecs. I don't know what that is. Uh, I got Love Is Dead. I agree. Uh, Nari Tower of Sheeran. I don't know. Road Redemption. Uh, oh, yeah. Hammer 40k Mechanicus. Hell yeah. And then physically, uh, I took advantage of that GameStop uh, deal as well. Yeah. And I picked up Okami HD on Xbox One. I picked up Tokyo Tattoo Girls on Vita. What? I wanted that. <laughs> It was legitimately the last Vita game my GameStop had, so I walked in, saw this Vita game all by its lonesome, like, I can't not get and it. He, he you saw his Vita game all by its lonesome and said, I'm single, and just grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting none this year. <laughs> uh, then I picked up on PS4 uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Yeah. Uh, Summon Night 6. Oh, Okay, I didn't know they made five other ones. <laughs> Technically, there's like eight other ones. What? <laughs> learn how to count. <laughs> I like the third one. Uh, the ending of the third one was really good. Oh, oh yeah, when 
Kagome dies. <laughs> dies at Jeff. Oh, Jeff, but it's spelled like, what a G. Uh, the No Nairi games. Yeah, 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 there you go. I know that I one. Have that on, I, I have that on PS4. I wanted I it. And it was a six. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. I want, really wanted to start the Yakuza games this year, but I never got around to it. Oops. That's what well, I'm doing is this after the year that. that you said, I'm going to finish all these games. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Uh, I remember him saying that like in January. He was like, I'm gonna make it a mission to finish like so many games each, <laughs> each <month." laughs> And you know what it is? We got a call. Hey you wanna do that? you wanna play this new game? I just kinda wanna play Overwatch, man. <laughs> <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, I said I wanna beat three games a month. And for the first three months I did that. <laughs> now you gotta beat like how many games catch up? I don't think I beat one game last oh no, that's not true. I beat um Something last month. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I beat something last month. Uh, I, uh, something. Wait, let me look. I, 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 I swear I wrote, I wrote them all down <laughs> in my phone. Let me see. You got to April. Oh. You said, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. Uh, let's see what I beat this year. Where is it? Here we beside go. You, beside your meat. Oh, Halo 2 Remastered. <laughs> yeah, I beat Halo 2 Remastered. There you go. That's what yeah. Yeah. Games completed 2019. Planet of the Eyes, which is some fucking indie game. Uh, Gree, Gry, Gris. How do you pronounce it? Gris. Fucking Gree, Gris, whatever. Gris. Resident Evil 2, of course. I beat, I beat that. I do that. Technically, I, I did it that. three times. But Gone Home, another quick game. <laughs> Crackdown 3. Borderlands, the whatever the fuck edition. Uh, game of the year, I guess. Uh, World War Z. Not really a game you could beat, but whatever. I finished every single mission. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, story mode. Rage 2, that was like a tw- that was like a 25 hour game. Neon Junctions was like 40 minutes long. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I beat it though. <laughs> and Halo 2 Remaster, which was also about 40 minutes long. And that was how long? How long ago? <laughs> uh, that was right after E3. I remember that because because uh, my friend Gerard really wanted to play Halo after seeing Halo Infinite, so that's why we went back. So that was June. This this month I will complete at least one. This this month I will complete at least one game. Oh, you know what? I forgot one game I did start up. Uh, I started up uh, my time at Portia or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Uh, it's fun. I, I I do not like the look of the character models though. They all look like hideous monsters. But uh, you okay. know what? I heard that they're making a Harvest Moon, uh, a Wonderful Life. Uh, remake thing or remaster? And yeah, it's a remaster of the Game Boy game, which was a remaster of the SNES game. Wait, they're doing a Game Boy? The it's Game Boy? It was a Zelda knockoff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, they're making of the GBA game? I thought it was of the GameCube game. No, it's the GBA one they're doing. I guess that makes sense with Stardew Valley. I guess you want to go back to like the eight to sixteen bit kind of shit. All right. Uh, okay, I, I was I was excited for a wonderful life, not the fucking Mineral Town one or it's called that. Friends of Mineral Town is that the one? That's on GBA. I thought you knew. You were acting I, I like hope, you did. I hope he's <laughs> just talking shit right now, just making you. Yeah, he's shit. making shit up. Did you? <laughs> no, I know it is a GBA life one, but I don't know what the fuck it is I, called. I read the. I didn't read the article. I just read the article <laughs> title. I was just. I was like, okay, I guess I. Well, I don't need to. Can't read. I read the article title. <laughs> I didn't read the fucking. The headline. I read the headline. I didn't read the fucking actual article because most of them are bullshit anyway. God damn it. I hope it's the GameCube game. Yeah, Mineral Sound. Fuck. I didn't know that. That's fine, I guess. That game was fun, too. <laughs> I thought it was just it's a wonderful life. The that come up when you Google Harvest Moon Remake is Mineral Town. I saw it on Twitter. I didn't look it up, though. Someone said a, a Wonderful Life game is fucking getting remade. I was like, what? Yeah, it's a All wonderful right. life to be living now that Harvest Moon Mineral Town is getting remade. Shut up. <laughs> Dick. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Fine. Whatever. Anyway, it, my time at Portia is fun, I guess. But uh, it's a little... I don't know. It, it It's it's not as good as Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's, it's not as good as this. So, I don't know. Anyway, all right. Let me show we you. We never played the multiplayer of that, did we? What the fuck are we gonna do? Cut up a couple know. trees. Farm, dude. Fuck. Uh, I like to do that on my own. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> 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 no, we can play it. Uh, uh, all right. So, uh, wait, David, are you done? Yeah, that's everything I got.
right. Okay. Well, so. I got, I, no, not so. I still have my shit to show. Moving on. No. What? All right, fine. Fuck it. <laughs> What'd you get? You got your next article. No, fuck it. Next no, fuck it. I don't want. Now I want to show it. You can suck <laughs> my ass. Next article. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the art. Next article. We're fine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right fine all right so I, I i took advantage of the ten dollar thing too i mean it wasn't a ten dollar thing but i got everything everything here besides one thing was hey $10. how many how many cool games were just not available right <laughs> like i really wanted to get fucking the, there was a game called the lost child or whatever which is right not, i mean i don't i don't give a fuck about the game itself but that game goes for like forty dollars on <laughs> ebay i was like yeah i was like oh let me get that they weren't there it was gone voice and there was pose. a bunch there was there was a 3DS game, Alliance Alive, I think it's called. I wanted to get that. That was gone. What was the other game? Vose. Oh, Vose, of course. I love Vose. That, that's a great game. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, I have that digital. But um, yeah, I wanted that too, just for the collection. There was a bunch of $10 Switch games that just weren't there. Um, but I got some. I got some. Uh, the first one was a 3DS game, though, and that's a Kirby Battle Royale. I got oh, that. Yeah. I love Battle Royale games. <laughs> now, yeah, I know. Um, now, the thing about this game is that I bought it new online, and it came exactly like this. Not new at all. So, oh. I mean, it's 10 bucks, so I can't really complain. But uh, this is how it came. So. Well, no, it was, it's never been played. That means it's new. Oh, yeah, of course. It's never been played. I hate, I hate that. Like, you could tell that cartridge has never been played. Like, yeah. I, I hate that policy. Yeah, new. That policy is so stupid. Well, that's the thing. Like, GameStop, its policy is that, except... Most of the time, we would like put they like, put like a little like sticker there. Man, that still it. should not count though. I know that does not count, but didn't even do that is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this came from a GameStop around here. I know that. Uh, like, that's they really that's how they do it. They really should have just yeah. uh, just sacrificed on one copy and just sold it. I guess you know. Or yeah. Just discounted maybe. I don't know. What, I don't know if that's even legal for them to do. With, I guess uh, it is. Technically. Stuff. I mean, it's ten bucks, I guess. It's okay. fine. I'm not gonna turn it. It was, it was something I wanted to add to my 3ds. I know, now. but if it was like a fucking like brand new game, though, I'd be like, fuck that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, fuck that. So maybe that's that's probably. Oh shit! I just realized it says plays only in 2D. Oh, can you, you scratch that? out the three and just put 2ds? Yeah, what the fuck? I just realized that. Why is it only play in 2D? All right, fuck it. Um, all right. So now I got Switch games too. I got. I don't know why I bought this. It was there. I said, fuck it. Goosebumps the game. <laughs> like, I don't, really don't know why I bought it. It's It looks shitty. <laughs> it's like a point and click game. I don't know. I got this. To be honest, I don't know why I bought this either. I'm surprised David didn't get this. Are you uh, talking about the game that I think? Yeah, yeah. that's like heroin. <laughs> it's, what? It's $10, you, dude. He, he already has it. That's why. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't have it. I, almost I didn't bought realize it was $10. I, oh, yeah, that's $10. My, my GameStops around here don't have much inventory. Yeah, but a lot of games Your GameStop had that stuff that. Your GameStop had stuff that I mine didn't have. And mine usually has a lot of shit, um, like that tattoo. Game. I don't even know what the fucking tattoo girls game is. I've never even heard of that. Uh, but, some uh, kind of RPG from the back of the box. I, I figured it would be. <laughs> it's, it's just with a name like that. It's either that or it's I, uh, it was also like the last Vita game. So <laughs> I, I almost like the bought last that one game. made. Yeah, the last one there. Like, that was the last one they had in stock, and they're like, yeah, we're not getting any more. Okay. They they did have Velocity 2X. Um, I ordered it out online, but that's a Vita game, too. But anyway, I didn't get that yet. But anyway, that's MK Hair Runs. That's actually brand new, by the way. So that's, like, oh, one yeah. of the only games I got that was brand new. What were you going to say, Adrian? I said, hell yeah. Oh, no, you said something before. Hell yeah. yeah All right, fuck it. Uh, I got Sushi oh, Striker my... also. Hell yeah, Sushi Striker. Hell yeah. And I also got the Walking Dead collection, the Telltale collection. I got this because, uh, I don't know, it's good. Is it all actually on the disc, or? Uh, uh, so I know some of the Telltale games weren't. They were just the first episode. Doesn't say if it is or not. Um, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know it's, that definitely doesn't have the last season. That's all I know. So even though it says collection, it's not really, because it doesn't have the last season. But whatever. Which I still have yet to finish. I only played the first two episodes. So. Don't worry, you can play them all on fucking uh, Epic Game Store. Oh, is it on there now? Yeah, it's exclusive to Epic Game Store now. Cool. Um, I got this also. Uh, they had it, so I was like, fuck it. Uh, and that's the Valk Valkyria Chronicles 4 Collector's Edition. How much was it? 20 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. bad. Comes with like oh, a, that's 20 a, bucks, really? Damn. Yeah. 
PS4. They only had it on PS4. I already have it on Switch, so I'll probably just get rid of this, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I ever play this, especially with Fire Emblem coming out. Like I don't like. I mean, yeah, there was uh, one reviewer saying that just going through one playthrough of one of the houses was like eighty hours. What? Yeah, but reviewers will take forever sometimes. Yeah, they. Uh, you, did you see? Uh, who was it? Polygon playing Doom. It was embarrassing. Fair. Or was it Kotaku? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, they're, both, like, they're both embarrassing. Uh, I got another. This one was thirty bucks. Uh, I asked you uh, the other day if you were going to get this. Uh, oh, sadly, they were, they only, yeah. Yeah, Shit. sadly they only had one. Um, but but I'm gonna go to GameStop again tomorrow because I want to pick something else up and I'll see if they have it there. Does your GameStop uh, not show up if it has it online? Um, there's times where they don't put online if okay. there's uh, if you something. If do, let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, and that is the uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite Collector's Edition. Oh yeah, but, I got that. Yeah, I got it just for the statues. I don't give a fuck. You're about right back. And to be honest, I don't even know what console this is for. <laughs> so. I didn't really care, so. Yeah, no, I was a dumb dumb and got that launch day. Yeah. Oh, uh, were you? Yeah. Were you a dumb dumb? You that was dummy. a shit game. Yeah, I mean, the statues look cool though, right? The statues are the fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the Infinity, Infinity Stones egg. are hot garbage. Yeah, the Infinity eggs. Those look like fucking little Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah, the Infinity eggs. <laughs> Which is bullshit, because even on the this box. Yeah, they look at. Can, can you see that picture? Yeah, this picture of the infi- the infinity eggs, they look great on there. Yeah, they don't look like they that don't look at anything all. Anything like that. The, st- the the statues look cool. That's right. Why I really wanted to get it. Yeah. But uh, I knew I could probably just get rid of the game. I already have it, so <clears throat> and make some of my money back. But anyway, uh, besides that, uh, that's really it. So I this isn't for me. I bought it for someone else, but I kind of wanted to at least show how big this thing showed out to be. Is that uh, a yeah, pistol yeah. from Fallout? Yeah. It's pretty good size. Yeah. Apparently, apparently yeah. yeah. It looks it looks super dope too. I got it too. I didn't open it yet. I didn't get the uh I didn't get dog meat sadly. Yeah. I was two minutes late on that one. I had it in my car, but I wasn't done adding shit. And by the time I got it in my car it said fucking dog meat sold out. I was like shit. Fuck. Dog that was the one I actually really wanted too. Because I'm it? like dog because dog meat's the best. Everybody loves dog meat. Great, great uh, character. David, what are you doing? I think you should get in the statues, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I was going to grab the eggs so that we can show oh, up properly egg. on camera how fucking stupid these things look. Yeah, the infinity eggs. <laughs> I saw an unboxing. Some guy was just like, you can't even take them out. And he's like trying to take them out. He's like, he's like flicking his finger on it. He's like, what? what is this? Yeah, so these, these are the infinity eggs here. So They light up pretty well. Yeah, they light up well, and then... Turned off. They're, yeah, they're they fucking like Easter shit. eggs. Like imagine, imagine what that's what Thanos put into this glove. <laughs> These big ass Easter eggs. They put into a basket instead of a gauntlet. How, how dare they, like, actually make that a part of the collector's edition? <laughs> Those for two hundred dollars, thirty bucks, it's fine, I guess. But two hundred dollars, fuck out of here. But anyway, I just, I just wanted a uh, statue of of, uh, of Chun Li, of course. Mm. All right, like, is that it? There they are. <laughs> they're flashing. They're they're, they're pulsating. Here. They're pulsating. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> all right, yeah. Pulsating all right. eggs. Pulsating. <laughs> cool. So let's put that. Those are bad eggs. Down. All right. We're good. You guys ready for this next topic? Trivia. 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 Yeah. 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 David's gonna Yo, fuck up so badly in this. Yeah. This is an I anti. This is, this is an anti-David. Uh, Trivia. Ball That's not fair. He's already like two points behind. <laughs> well, so what we're gonna do is again, when you guys gonna mute, mute, when you guys gonna mute, mute, and I'm gonna give you. I'm not gonna tell the other person that way. I don't I make sure I don't cheat. Okay. So, uh, who's uh, Gore? You mute. Because David did last time. Fuck. <laughs> All right. What am All I right. doing? This is a release date quiz for the last oh, couple fuck of you. gens. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. So No, fuck fuck this. What, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a you're gonna get um half Looking points right. half points for uh for um getting the month let's see how are we gonna do this. Let's see 
Uh, Gore's just going to get all the points. That's how about how this? How about this? this? All right. Half point for month and year you had to get right. The other half is for getting the correct like number date. And then the other side of that is you got to give me within... I, let's say it's let's give it within a margin of five million and make it hard. You get an extra point for uh, getting how much they sold lifetime or at least to whenever their date is at. Now I'm not gonna make it a stack point, so it's like whoever gets the most points is gonna get one point. All right. But that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna match up this. All right. All right. All right. Let me know when you when you think you're good. Sure. All right. Here's the easy one though. Dreamcast. Month and year. Month and year for the Dreamcast. That was the uh, easiest one. That was a slam dunk. It's like 2001. Fuck, what month? June. I'm going to say January 2001. What's the date you put on it? The number date, like. The oh, like second. the actual day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 21st, why not? Okay, and how much did it sell lifetime? Garbage. Um, call like 17 million. Yeah, we'll call it 17 million. 17 million. Okay, PS2. All right, that was... When did I get mine? I was like 10, 11 when I got mine. So. It's like 2000 that it came out. I'm going to say. Usually they line that up on like holiday season. I'm going to say like November. I don't know, like November, <laughs> uh, November something, uh, 2000, November. Yeah, you, you, you got like still 17. like a lot of consoles to go, so. 17, right, we'll say November how, 17. How much did it sell? A now, lot. I, I like to clarify, I got these statistics, uh, all but one of them I got from Wikipedia, so if I'm wrong, Wikipedia's wrong. I don't know, we'll say, I, I know it sold a lot, like, uh, I'd say like 25 million. 25? Yeah. Okay. If we're talking like lifespan of the console, then yeah, I think it's like 25. I'm going to tell you now, you're so off, so do you want to give that another guess? <laughs> Lower? I, should, I shouldn't I should even be telling you that. No, you are, like, incredibly low right now. Oh, I'm incredibly low? Yes. I'm, I'm going to give you a hint. 100 think, million. Okay. You're more in the fucking ballpark with that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wasn't going to feel good letting you do that. All right. GameCube. GameCube. Uh... Adrian, why are we doing dates? I hate this. I don't know, but you still got like eight or nine more to go, so. Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> I don't know, 2003, we'll call it fucking July. <laughs> July 27th, 2003. Is that a legit guess? Yeah, why not? All right, and uh, sold to date. <laughs> sold to date, I'll we'll say like 40 million. Okay. No, I'll take that back. Thirty million. Okay. The Xbox original. Xbox original. Fucking. We'll call that one. Say what one. you want, and I will go back after we're done, and I'll refrain the dates again, so you can see and maybe gauge in case you're off. No. <laughs> take it seriously. <laughs> no, I'm taking it about as well as I can, Adrian. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say that came out. Microsoft loves its holidays, so I'm gonna say that came out like December. Uh, let's call that 18th of, uh, 20, 2002. Okay. 360. 
Oh, sorry. Most... How many? Sorry, how much did Xbox original sell? Oh, uh, we'll call that like fifty thousand. Fifty thousand? Yeah, yeah, fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> Japan hated it that much, Adrian. It only X- sold fifty thousand. Xbox three hundred and sixty. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that sold like I don't know, we'll call it like 120 million, some shit like that. 360? That sold. Yeah. I should Why say, not? uh, by March of 2014. Not that you really need that, but 120 million. What was the date that you put on there? Uh, for the 360? Yeah. I didn't give one yet. Uh, that one I'm gonna say was like, I call that one December. Eighteenth as well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that was gonna be in the year two thousand eight. Okay, call PS3. it yeah, two thousand eight. PS three uh, released for five hundred and ninety nine dollars, and it released uh, holiday season of some kind. You know what, that one we'll call uh, November 18th of uh, 2007. November 18th, 2007. And how much did it sell by November of 2013? How much did it sell by November of 2013? Yes. Uh, fuck. Mm, we'll say $45 million. Okay, we. No. Or you want to go back? Less than that. Yeah. I'll say twenty-five million. Okay, we. We sold an infinite number of fucking consoles. Uh, I'll say seventy-five million sales for that at least for if we're going to like when it ended uh, initially. As of December twenty sixteen. Uh, as of December 2016, uh, fuck, fucking everyone and their grandmother has one to the point that Ubisoft still releases games on it. So I'm going to say, uh, you know, fuck it. We'll punch that up to like uh, 150 million. Okay. And the release date? Uh, we'll call it August. 31st. I don't even know if there's 31 days in August. <laughs> uh, 2010. No, not 10. Not 10. Fuck, what was I talking about? We'll call 2007 as well. Now, 2009. Okay. The Wii U. Uh, that was like five years ago or some shit like that. So I'm going to say that came out... I'm going to call that... September. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say September 9th, 2014. And how much did it sell? Uh, By December of 2016. Uh, maybe 12 million. Mate, no. I'm going to say 10 million. Yes, four. Uh, December seventh, twenty fifteen. Okay, and uh, sales as of December twenty eighteen. Uh like 200 million or some shit like that. Why not? <laughs> Give me a guess. 
Uh, You're almost done. I see the one hundred seventy million. Okay, what? the Xbox One. You're almost there. I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm gonna say this also came out September 9th, and uh, I'm gonna say that was no September 11th. That's when it came out. Uh, it came out <laughs> September 11th of 2014. No, I did it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tell you, you did. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say no. Microsoft likes its holidays. Uh, I'm gonna say December 18th of 2014. You had to... <laughs> yeah, they really didn't love this. Microsoft, they love being consistent, you know? Every, every console, December 18th. <laughs> That's how they roll. <laughs> I was waiting to see how long until you caught up. I knew I think you do it again. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, dude. God damn it. How much did it sell? Uh, <laughs> it sold. Uh, As of 2018, how much did it sell? We'll uh, say 100 million. I'm crying so no. hard. 80 million. We'll say 80 million. <laughs> and then the Switch. <laughs> the oh, Switch. fuck that. The, the Switch, Switch is at like what? Uh, as of as of March of this year, how much has it sold? 300 million. <laughs> Give me a goddamn number so we can be done with this. <laughs> I told you, 300 million. <laughs> Give me an actual number. Uh, I know it surpassed the PlayStation. What did I say for the PlayStation 4? Uh, um, 170 million. All right, also 200 million, legitimately. Because I know it passed it by a com- uh, certain point. And then what was the release date? <sighs> Fuck, did it just have its one-year anniversary or its second-year anniversary? Uh, second-year anniversary? Uh, April... 24. First, 2017. I think okay. that might be the closest one I legitimately get. All right. <laughs> Did they see us? Did they see us? Yeah, he was wondering why we were laughing and her ass is off. Did he unsee us? What the fuck happened? I just saw. I looked on the left and I just see fucking he's been dying. On the right. uh, you're, you're, so, you're, you're gonna hear some fucking nonsense in a second. Uh, you you got a point by the way. I got oh, a point. He, right. you got, you, you'll see. You'll, okay, so here's. I actually here's, got one right. No, you'll, you'll hear. Here's oh. what I'm saying. Right, oh hold on, hold shit! On. He got none of them right. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so here's the, here's the game. It's the anti David. Oh, uh, the game. game is fuck me. Uh, Adrian hates me. <laughs> it was it was the hardest thing to do. Okay, so for the last three generations of consoles, I want release dates, and I want and I want a ballpark within five million of how much they sold, either by the day I tell you or lifetime. Now here's the point structure. You get half a point for a month and year. You get okay. half a point if you can nail the number date. Okay. And then um, you get a point if you can ballpark within 5 million the total sales. And I'll tell you, if it's more recent console, I'll tell you by the date of when it was. Which I preface by saying... <laughs> which I'll preface by saying, this is all Wikipedia, wow. so if, uh, <laughs> if Wikipedia... I'm so is wrong, fucking <laughs> off on the sales. God damn. <laughs> Did you look at them? You're... I just decided to start looking at for sales. Record, I am so for the, off. For the record, let me tell you how bad it started out. Dave, I, I thought he was joking. 
I say, how much does the PS2 sell? He goes, oh, it's a lot. It's a 25 million. I'm like, huh. First year? No, for a lifetime. Oh, PS2 still like oh, over wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's all like. Well, I was, this is my guess. I think it's like over 100 million. I was, like, million, right? I was like, no, I was like, are you being serious? Like, yeah, I was like, I'm going to tell you right now, you are so fucking odd. I was like, oh, am I too high? <laughs> <laughs> You'll 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 hear in the results why I was fucking dying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's start it off. Dreamcast. What year? Uh, Give me the release date. If you want to start with the month and the, and the year. The this one's easy. I thought this one was fucking slam dunk for you. I never had a Dreamcast. Why would I fucking know? I, I got know. one sitting right here. I have one now. Oh, I thought you picked up like a roll of paper towels. I, I did. Like, <laughs> Dude, oh, it was, fuck. It was yeah, on was top of my Dreamcast. Oh, you have a, a black one. That's all right. Yeah, because I, uh, I got the shitty white one. All right, month and year. If you want to do that, then you can just pick a number date. All right. Uh, let's say ninety-eight. Okay. Probably not right. Maybe and 90. month and date. No, uh, let's say ninety-nine. Uh, just ninety-eight. Fuck it. Uh, like September. I don't know. September. Uh, oh, I don't know the date. Fifteenth. Uh, Fuck it. I guess that's why I'm giving you a, an extra point for the, the actual date. Cause that, that's fine. Uh, how much do you think it's a lifetime? Not much, Not many. Uh. You have to be within I five say, million. Within? What do you mean within five mi- million? So if it's like, like, like that's the lowest it can go. Is that, is that no. Mean? So like hypothetically, if it sold forty million, you get a point if you said thirty-five or forty-five. Oh, uh, okay. So okay. you have to be within that five million ballpark. I don't think I, I. I'm pretty sure it sold really poorly. Did I? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. 15 million? 15 million. All right. PS2. I don't know if that's. Uh, PS, I'm going to say 100 million. Okay. I'm pretty sure it sold a lot, right? I think it sold more than 100 million. Maybe like right below 100 million. All right. And the uh, release date. And the release date. Uh, 2001. November. I'm going to say. And number date? I'm thinking uh, 22nd. GameCube. 2002. Oh, god damn, I was so off on all these. <laughs> I'm going to say also November. That's probably not right, though. I'm going to say November. The f- 12th. And console Take sold. It. For GameCube. Uh, I'm going to say didn't sell that great either compared to other Nintendo consoles. I know that. I'm gonna say, let's say, thirty-five million. Okay. I think that's Xbox pretty. Xbox original. I think that was two thousand one. No, wait, was it two thousand one or two thousand two? I'm gonna say two thousand one. I think it was two thousand two. Fuck it, two thousand one. November. I'm pretty sure I was also in November. I'm gonna say November eighth. Okay, and sold. Yeah, that, Sold pretty well. I'm going to say 55 million. Okay. The Xbox 360. Okay. That was 2006, November. Also, I I, I just think consoles come out in November. Um, I'm going to say the 14th. And sold. Um, sold through till March 2014. Till March, I'm gonna say 80 million. It's probably off. I know okay. the 360 did really well, but the PS3. All right. Overall, I'm gonna say 50 million for no, sold. Uh, okay, yeah. So PS3 is until November of 2013. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I definitely fucked up the 360. Can I go back? Uh, David, do you allow that? Sure. Okay. All right. It, it, it won't matter. Five. Pretty sure it was 2005 when it came out. I said 2006. Okay. And then I'll keep everything else, though. PS3 sold through till November of 2013. Okay. Um, let's say it picked up later, but it wasn't selling great at the beginning. I'm going to say 45 million. Okay. And then release date. And these are all, by the way, I, I, I didn't feel like you need to say it was North American release dates. Yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um, I think that, was, that might have been October. I, that could be wrong though. It maybe November also. I think a lot of them probably are gonna be. I'm gonna say October just to change it up. Twentieth. Uh, fuck it. And then what was the year? Two thousand six. Okay, the Wii. Two thousand six. 
I think that was November. I mean, I'm going to say that one was November. Okay. I re- you know what? I know it definitely was because I remember Twilight Princess came out. I had to wait a month to fucking play it because I didn't have one. I had to wait until the GameCube version came out. I'm going to say the 22nd. Okay, and then sold through till December of 2016. Jesus. Um, I'm going to say like a, I'm going to say 120. Okay. I know that's sold really well. I don't know if that's too much or not. The Wii U. <laughs> Uh, 2012 release date, November. I don't know the day. I'm gonna say the 10th. No, I'll say the 15th. And then sold through till December of 20, 2016. 25 million. Okay. <clears throat> That's probably wrong, but. PS4. Yeah. Uh, 2013, November, the 10th. I think. I think it was. I think it was the 10th. Um, sent till now, through, right? Sold through till December of 2018. I think it's really close to a, oh, until 20. Okay, I'll say 95 million then. I think it's really close to 100 million right now. Okay, I'm just saying 95 million. Xbox, I, maybe it, it might have already passed 100 million. Xbox know. One, uh, November 17th of 2013. I'm gonna say this sold through as of last year, they didn't give a specific date though. I'm going to say 40 million. I know it's not doing anywhere near as good as PS4. Um, actually, I'm going to fa- I'm going to fact check something. Uh, give me give me a quick yeah. intermission here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep, babies. I got so much. I got everything wrong. I don't think I got anything <laughs> right. So I'm looking at a complete I I list of right. sales and release dates, and I don't think I got anything right, except for maybe something involving the Switch. Okay. Oh, we're doing Switch also. Okay, I guess so. Yeah. I was just uh actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap it to March 2018. So I think that's the last uh okay mm, for no. what Xbox? No 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 no. Uh yeah, I might have just did a typo on that one. So let me swap this over here. Okay. Swatch, swatch, oh, that's swatch. why I was doing that. Okay, my bad. Um, okay. right. So what was your date? What was your guess? Uh, my date. All right, you didn't hear that? No, you're, no, your uh, your date. I got your uh, uh, I, sale. I, I said. Let's say forty million. Okay. Uh, I, I know it's it's nowhere near as good. Yeah. Okay. And then switch. Now switch. I have no idea. I haven't been keeping up with sales this at all. As of uh, March of this year. I'm gonna say. It's probably wrong. I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna say twenty-five million. Okay. And release date. I'm, that was March third, twenty seventeen. All right. <laughs> I know I got that one right. <laughs> the, not the sales, but all right. Uh, no, the release, release <laughs> day was definitely Jesus March, March March third. I said what, what a fucking right? travesty. March third, twenty seventeen. I hate you so much, Adrian. All right, I want to hear how fucking. I want to hear his. I want to hear his guesses. <laughs> You're gonna see why it's funny at the very end. Which is like one billion. <laughs> You're not off. You're not off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dreamcast. I'm surprised neither of you got because I thought that was the easy one. Was nine nine ninety nine? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I did say. I did say. I think it's ninety nine. But I, I yeah. was like, you know, what, I feel like so, there should have been more time in between that and PS2. But I guess that was the problem is that there wasn't enough time. So David. Oh, you know, that, what I think did the PS2 come out in 2000? Oh, fuck it. So go. David said that, that the Dreamcast came out in January 21st of 2001. Oof. And Gore, you said September 15, 1998. Yeah. But so neither of you guys are right on either. I was close. On either of the Fair. date parts. Uh, I got September, though, right? You said 9999. You need to have the month and the year right. I know, but I got and, the month right. Though. Yeah, but I mean, who cares? Yeah, I was I was the closest. I was one of you wrong. So uh, <laughs> just saying. And then, Just as of sold through, sold through for Dreamcast was nine point one three million. So neither of you guys get that point. Because Ooh. David said oh, seventeen that's... million, and you said fifty million, Chris. That was closer. So so far we're at zero points for piece. I was I was being hopeful for the Dreamcast. So now we know why they're dead. Couldn't even reach, couldn't even reach ten million. That's sad. Uh, all oh. right, PS2, David, you said this came out November seventeenth, two thousand. Yep. Chris, you said this came out November 22nd, 2001. The release date's actually October 22nd, 2000. Oh, so close. You were That's barely out there, great. David. Uh, okay. Both of you guys actually said that the PS2 sold 100 million sold through. 
the actual price is 155 million sold through. Oh, oh, okay. he said 100 million also. Yeah, you guys yeah. said 100 million on that. Oh, okay. He, he almost. Oh, he said 25 million. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give him a hint. Yeah, I, I thought think, you said you said 25 million. Well, he did. Million. And I was like, I, I feel bad if I let you go down this road. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Next up, the GameCube. Gore, you said this came out November 12th, 2002. David, you said this came out July 27th, 2003. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's probably 2001 now. <laughs> the actual release date is, yes, November 18th, 2001. Yeah, fuck. And sold through. Gore, you said 35 million. David, you said 30 million. You guys are both way too high. Actually sold 21.74 million. So again, Jeez. we are at zero points apiece I'm, going I'm, into I'm, Xbox. I'm being hopeful for some of these consoles. Just saying. Oh, you're definitely, you're definitely being hopeful after this next one. Uh, Xbox. The Xbox? <laughs> uh, David, you said this came out December 18, 2002. Or you said this came out November 8, 2001. The actual okay. release date is November 15, 2001. Hey, so hey, you got a point five point, yeah. So. Point five. All right, I'll take a point five. five. And then, so, sold through. Uh, David, you said 50 million. Gore, you said 55 million. Sold through is actually 24 million. Wow. So, Jesus. no points on that. that. I didn't know it was that bad for Xbox. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, it did well. As these consoles that we have recently are, like, doing game bunch of versus back then, too. Well, but PS2 did way better. <laughs> so, next up, we got the Xbox 360. Gore, you said November 14, 2005. David, you said December 18, 2008. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> the actual release is November 22, 2005. Yeah, so, okay. Gore, you get a point five on that. I'll take a... Uh, I have a full point now. A full point. Full so, point. Uh, I know I'm definitely getting another point later. So, release... Or, uh, launch sales. Gore, you said 80 million. Oh, David. launch sale? I thought they meant like I'm now. At, sorry, sorry, I meant. I meant okay, sale. okay, I was about to say. Launch I meant, it. I meant, didn't know. It did full, not do no eighty sales. million. Full okay, sales. Full sale. All right, good. Uh, Gore, you said eighty million. David, yeah. you said one hundred twenty million. The actual that's sales close. are eighty-three point seven million. Mmm, that's that's so in, you got a full in point. Five. Hell yeah, two points for me, baby. I feel bad now. <laughs> well, if I if I just get more points for this, I just get one point for the yeah, overall. Simple, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> now you're not you're Thank not gonna sure. fucking. Just, we'll just give you all the topics for the next couple feel, of weeks. <laughs> yeah, you should just give me like a dark con or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what a dark con favorite costume in the game? <laughs> oh shit! You'd be like it's a, a type B or like, fuck. I don't know that. All right. <laughs> for PS3. Gore, you said October 20th, 2006. Yeah. David, you said November 18th, 2007. The actual yeah. release is November 17th, 2006. Oh, I should have just kept with November. Okay. <laughs> when all these consoles fucking come out. Sales. Gore, you said 95 million. No, I David, did not. you Wait, said for 25 PS3? million. I did not say 95 oh, sorry, million sorry, for sorry. PS3. 45 million. <laughs> 45 million. Say, hell 45 no. million. 45 million. <laughs> David, you said 25 million. The actual sales are 80 million. Oh shit! I said 90 million. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're closer. <laughs> How did PS3 get to 80 million? I thought it was, uh, didn't do well. It didn't do well in the states. Europe picked the fuck out of it, though. It, it, okay. It, it so the, it got really close to the 360. I think it. No, I think I think it might have beat it too. I think in other sales, I, I think. Beat the 360 in I think sales. It, I, I thought think 360. It, well, I guess in North America, it definitely won. Yeah, but I think but... it overtook 360 at the very end. Okay. Um. So the sales could be off right there, and I think because the, the 360 got logged a month or a couple months afterwards. All right, the Wii. Gore, you said November 22nd, 2006. David, you said August 31st, 2009. The actual release is November 19th, 2006. So. <laughs> Wait, what was the date I said? Uh, November 22nd. So you're off by three days. Three days. I kept that. forgetting that Nintendo's gen- console generations are so short. You guys also both forgot that uh, PS3 and Wii launched like within a week of each other. Yeah. yeah I know. I know the PS3 and Wii came out pretty close. Yeah. But, uh, I remember that because specifically, I remember all. I remember. Well, first I just remember that whole week, but I remember that the sales. Everyone's like, PS3 should be so hard to find. Everyone's like, oh fuck, the Wii's hard to find. I just remember the Wii coming out. I'm just like, I want to play Twilight Princess, and the GameCube version took another month to come out. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. 
So, Gore, for the Wii, you said 120 million sales. David, you said 150 mil, 150 million sales. Way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess way above that. Uh, no, so sales for that were actually 101 million. Oh. I'm yeah, the PS2 is actually the highest <laughs> selling console. Take away that point for David for Gore because he uh, he guessed wrong, wrong twice. What? <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying, David? Uh, the PS2 is actually the highest selling console. Yeah, it is. All right, well, Wii U. David, you said September 9, two thousand fourteen. Oh. Gore, you said November fifteen, two thousand twelve. Yeah. The actual release date is November fifteen, two thousand thirteen. Sorry, two thousand twelve. Sorry. Oh, so I nailed it? No. You're off Wait, by three days. I thought you said November, I said I said you said November 15th. 15th, and it came out on the 18th. Oh, you said 15th. Sorry, I was, just... re- I was reading the PS4 date. <laughs> I'm going to say. PS4 date. Sorry, oh. November 18th, oh, 2012. Well, thanks for telling me I got that wrong. Oh, uh, yeah. Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler uh, alert. That means the Xbox was the 22nd of November. So, I mean, you got 0. 0.5, though, for that still. <laughs> okay. Sales. Oh, Actually, boy. This one, uh, this one was the one I was really worried about, really, to, like deep inside, because like I really uh, don't know how. You definitely how... should be. Yeah. So. I said, I said twenty million or twenty-five million, something like that. Right? Yeah, Gore, you said twenty-five million. David, you said ten million. The actual sales are thirteen point five six million. So David, you got a point. Yeah. There you go. You got <laughs> one point. You got one point for the Wii U. Yeah. So even actually, though you, even though you thought it came out two years later, than I think did. I think as of I think as of now, more people own Smash Bros. Ultimate than own a Wii U. <laughs> I just assumed because it's Nintendo that it would at least get the 25. <laughs> nope. You'd be wrong about the GameCube as well. Okay, that's fine. I still got more points than this fucking idiot. He's, he's not even talking <laughs> shit. I know, you just pissed me off though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, PS4. Gore, you said November 10th, 2013. David. Well, you already told me it was wrong, so. You know, like, <laughs> well, David, David, you said December 7th, 2015. The actual release is November 15, 2013. So, Gore, you still got 0. 0.5. I and, and I already, I know I now know the Xbox One date. That means it was November 22nd, 2013, because it came out a week after, right? Pretty sure yes. that's true. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sales. Gore, as of 20, 20, or December 2018, you said that the PS4 is at 95 million. David. That, that's for worldwide, right? Yeah. Yeah, you said the PS4 is currently sold 170 million. Oh, well, you're in the last <laughs> Damn. You're, you're really good. Currently, the PS4 is at 90, 91 million. So, get one point, point for, for that. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, that's, that's, my, that's my Switch guess. But that's during September 2018, right? That's all the way up to then? December 2018. I think it's I think it's getting closer. I think it's getting close. All right. I think by the by the end of like maybe next year it'll be there. Uh, Xbox One, November 17, 2013 is what you said. David, you said December 18, 2014, which I like to point out. David has said <laughs> Microsoft hey, always what? released their console. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> what? Say wait, hold on. Say it again before you finish. David said December 18, 2014. Oh, 2014. Okay. <laughs> and okay. I just like to point out that. David said that Microsoft's consoles are always released on December 18th. Always. <laughs> <They're consistent. laughs> Even though yeah, Xbox One came out the 22nd, right? Yeah, but for a reason, apparently, they just have a boner for December 18th. They, they love missing Black Friday every every launch. <laughs> right before Thanksgiving. No, they get it next year. It's fine. <laughs> I was done when he fucking. I was like, because hey, he said he said fuck it, like December twenty. He said December twenty seventeen. I'm like, give me a real date, December eighteenth. <laughs> December, you said? Yeah, December eighteenth. Every Microsoft console has come out on December eighteenth. Oh, I thought you said November eighteenth. No, no, December. His, December. His, his Xbox. I don't releases. think a console's ever come out in December. <laughs> his, his releases have been. Any. Xbox Original came out December 18, 2002. The Xbox 360 came out December 18, 2008. The Xbox One came out December 18. You told him not 20... to do that, right? No, he's the end. Fuck it. If he wants that, it's fine. Uh, obviously, David, you're wrong. It came out December 20, or November 22nd. Yes. It was a week after the PS4. I remember. 
because I got the PS4 a couple days after it came out. I was like, oh, cool, this will hold me over until the Xbox One comes out. Uh, sales. Gory said forty million. David, you're being really fucking grateful. Uh, you I'm think- reading into the future of lifetime sales. Oh, if you are, Phil Spencer would fucking be so happy. We'll be uh, right here. David, you said the Xbox One is at 80 million. Ooh. Uh, currently, the Xbox is at 41 million. Wow, and nailed it almost. <laughs> said 40, right? Yep. All right, uh, here, here's a pretty egregious <laughs> one. That I feel like you're being just, just jokey, David, but... Uh, what did you say today? It came out. Oh, no, 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 no. About, about the about the sales. Oh, okay. So, Gore, you're right, 100 percent on that one. So you got one point for the uh, March 3rd, 2017. Were you joking about that, David? Uh, David, well, David wasn't too far off. He said April 21st, 2017. So he wasn't far off. But sales. <laughs> Again, I'm reading into the future of like Nintendo sales. would be fucking so happy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, all right. So, Gore, you said I probably, I probably didn't get close either, but uh, I was being, I was being conservative considering it's only been out for two yeah, years. Yeah, you were being very conservative. Uh, Switch came out. Oh yeah, Switch. Two years ago. Switch sold twenty five million. Uh, David, you remember what your guess was? <laughs> two hundred million. No, he didn't. His guess is two hundred million. <laughs> No, we didn't. <laughs> Shut up. Everybody outside would have one in their hands. 200 million people have a fucking Switch in America. Well, I guess it's worldwide. I guess. So, but before the light, dude. Oh, before the light. The light was just going to fucking... It would be 500 200 million. million. Uh, switches everywhere. Yeah, Look at rain switches. He's giving those away with like, Oprah toilet was fucking paper. Just walking around, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Switch is actually at 34.74 million, so... Okay. I did. I, I was pretty close. Yeah, I think. but David was close. It's, oh yeah, he was the closest. Yeah. With two hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> so Again, for and I, I, I nailed lifetime the release there, right? sales. And you said I nailed the release there, right? Yeah. March third. I remember that because that was the same day Logan came out. <laughs> I don't know why day. I remember that. <laughs> good movie. <laughs> this is a damn good movie. Damn good day. All right. I so. wait. I waited outside to get a switch on the second because I had to go there before, obviously, for the midnight. The winner has been determined. Oh, I wonder who it is. <laughs> Adrian. Yeah. Neither uh, of us. We just wasted like forty-five fucking minutes talking about this shit. David, actually, yeah. I'll, I'll give it to Gore first. You, Gore, you, you got seven points. <laughs> That's pretty good. I got one. <laughs> 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 At least got one. I got uh, one. You got one. Gore, you officially pull ahead a little bit more at 14 <laughs> points. David, you're at 10.5 points. Well, it's not too far away. <laughs> we're we're going to do a never special, do dates again. <laughs> we're going to do a special uh, catch up version of, of trivia. Make it super hard for Gore and a little bit easier for David next week. Wait, ca- what do you mean catch up? So hopefully make make that a little bit closer because that's starting. Well, oh, the little... Pokemon one already was kind of hard for me because I don't fucking care. <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna make it a super hard week for for Gore. And How is this one week. hard for him? Oh, because he's not good with release dates. Is that why? Yeah, because I'm numbers? not good with. <laughs> I, but he fucked up on the sales more than the release dates. I think <laughs> he said the week came out two hundred million. Fucking wait, what? He said the week came I know, out two hundred million. I know, but he said the switch sold the switch two hundred million in two years. <laughs> That's more than the PS2 ever did, ever, in its entire existence. That's double the Wii. <laughs> double which, Wii. which I like to point out, when we were, when we were, record, when we were doing his answers, oh, the Wii sold a fuck ton. So he, he says the Wii, he said the Switch double the Wii in, in two years. In two years. I mean, you could take it anywhere. I don't know. Oh, you're right. All I know is that I have no perception of time, so I'm fucking terrible at these things. And I have, have no perception, perception of money. Well, when I, you're talking want, like, I wonder if I can find something. Once it really gets quick. to that, it's all fake numbers. So. <laughs> Let me see if I can find <laughs> something. You need to use one of those mind eggs. <laughs> Infinity eggs. <laughs> there you go. You can't even take them out. <laughs> no, you can't. It's Hardly. probably on my other computer. I think David said that the Wii launched... The same year that he said that Silent Hill 
Oh yeah, Silent Hill with Shattered Memories or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was a launch title for yeah, it. The, you know? the, the, somehow Shattered Memories came out before the Wii. <laughs> yeah, no, you got. Uh, I guess it was on the PS2. So, yeah. No, it was a launch title with Wii Bowling. You know, Grandma would just be Wii sitting bowling. there, fucking doing some of the Wii Bowling. Yeah, running away the next from thing you know, <laughs> fucking Demon Child pops out, fucking prolapses her colon. Oh, yeah. no, not her colon. Her grandma. Oh, uh, snail trail of Grandma Juice. <laughs> grandma Juice. Uh. Uh, what do you want to call it? Grandma slime. There you go. All right, we're done. We're done with trivia. <laughs> we're done with this podcast. So the podcast is over at this point. You, you guys can go. Now we get to the articles. Uh, speaking of Nintendo Switch. Uh, we're actually we're gonna save that for the for towards the end. I get fuck you. I had a transition. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that article. Good catch on that one, Adrian. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, but first off, we're just going to go with this quick one, is that there was a private video uploaded to Smash Ultimate's YouTube, meaning that uh, Heroes re- released in Smash Ultimate should be happening very soon. Um, very, very soon. In fact, I'd be, I'd be, I wouldn't be shocked if it happened the next couple of days. Um, there really? was, uh, there's a Dragon Quest thing being shown off this weekend in Japan, which I, I imagine would be gonna... a good place to show that too. Yeah. Um, they have so, to start ramping it up. They have four more before February next year. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about that for a second, because we're at July <laughs> for the second character. Yep. It, they said summer, so, right? So, yeah, watch no, it right it, now. It counts, it counts, but then, like, let's think about it for a second, so. Let me pull up uh, Notepad. Do you think they want to do that? I mean, I guess Dragon Quest Village is, isn't one of theirs, but do you think they want to do that right before, like, Ultima Line 3 and uh, Fire Emblem? I don't think the, the crossover audience. I guess Dragon. Really yeah, I guess Dragon. Yeah, Dragon Quest. I mean, I guess Dragon Quest would make sense, right? Because it's a logic alongside Dragon Quest makes sense. I don't think it has any crossover or an issue with. with I know it doesn't have, but people will be more focused on those Switch, that Switch game over Ultimate Alliance or uh, Fire Emblem. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think, it's I Dra- think, but Dragon Quest over here isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, so. and all I say is that the people that would be like super hyped to play Hero are not going to be the same ones playing Ultimate Alliance three. Yeah. So I don't think the crossover's there. But so, let's say let's take a look at it this way. So we got two characters in July. So we got yeah. August, September, October, November, December. We got three characters in six months. Isn't isn't totally off. We think uh, Banjo would be it, September. Well, three three characters if you think Dragon Quest is coming out this month. Possibly well, doesn't. He hundred percent needs to. I think. Well, I guess it could be August. That's still some summer, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, all signs are pointing that it's 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 a it's pretty close. I forget what other sign was showing up there. Um. But usually when there's a, a private release video, that, that means something close is happening. Right. Um, what was uh, what was I going to say? Was, there's another, there was another hint towards Hero. I forget what it was. Um, I, I see that happening this time. Banjo, if we're, if we're doing it in six months, we still have three characters left, and then we have till February. It has to be in, in, in months of three, right? So Banjo, September, uh, character number three... Or, in uh october character four in december and last one is in February. yeah I, I have a feeling they'll probably delay it it'll be like march watch because they, they've always said like oh i mean they've done this in the past where it's just like yeah this game's coming out in spring and then that shit don't even come out until fall yeah you know and they, I mean? so, they also they also impressed it being early though because remember a uh, Piranha Plan was supposed to release in, in February, and they they actually put them out in January. Right. Um, yeah, that's true too. But look, look, look at Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem was supposed to come out in spring, and and they and, 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 uh, and then when they officially announced, I mean not officially now, but they announced the release date, they're like July, and I was like, what the? Way? I ain't nowhere near spring. You liars, biggest liars in the world. Um. <laughs> there's also been rumors of uh, two more characters after this. That'd be cool. Um, Sh- Shantae. Yeah, they had the no. little nod. They in, got in that the, trailer, yeah. Yeah, but that, that's oh, too no. obvious. If anything, that's too obvious, I feel like. Is it? Yeah, I think that they wouldn't be allowed to do that if, if that was happening. Um, And she's also a spirit in the game, which by unofficial rules, which is never a real thing, that people who are in spirit, spirits in the game are not actually included in the fighters. But, um, so, they're, so people have been counting out the Amiibo stuff. So mm-hmm. if uh, they've been releasing Amiibos in patches of three, and they still, and they they have releases dates up until 
uh, Richter and Dark Samus are the last two of the ones that we have currently out right now. And I think they, they match them up th in threes. And if you match them up in threes with DLC, there's still two slots left over with character number five and two other I mean, those that they have to release. If they, if they keep it this arbitrary three, which is, it could totally not be. But um, apparently during the E3 uh, update, when you look at the site, it had yeah. char it showed Hero and Banjo and it had two extra slots of, uh, of, of question marks, which could have been a glitch as to, oh, they added two, but they didn't take away two question marks, which is what people thought. But they could also just, that could also just mean that there are two more, but they didn't mean to do that because that was a glitch along all the Smash Bros. websites. Hmm. So. Well, there there is two question marks left, though. Really. Yeah. So, so they haven't announced two more. But I, I said I would not be surprised if they kept characters going. It's such a fucking easy cash grab for people just make a character and spend six bucks on them. Yeah. This, this, it I, I could news. definitely see them doing a season pass two or something. Yeah. Every fight, fighting game does that, so. Heckin. Second's gonna probably be a third one, I'm, I'm sure, because it's, it's Mortal still Kombat growing. does that. Mortal Kombat X did that. Maximilian, Fire Pass too. I watched a video of Maximilian dude who was talking. So apparently, uh, Capcom was like, "Hey, if we made an Evo that didn't make That's Street perfect. Fighter the champion game, if there was like another core game we 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 ringed around, what do you guys think it'd be?" Mortal Kombat. And everyone was kind of making guesses around. But Maximilian made, made a really good point that Tekken should definitely be it, and I agree 100%. Right. I think sure. yep. Tekken, Tekken's the that. only fighting game that's had progressive growth year after year. Uh, I think the mechanics in that game are fucking phenomenal. I don't know. I think I, Mortal Kombat's mechanics have definitely... Because the original game was not... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, evolution from... That from game, there, that game sure. is chunky. <laughs> it, it certainly evolved, but it doesn't have the same prestige. You know, Street yeah, Fighter has sure. a certain prestige with it. And Tekken Mortal is probably Kombat, the only other fighting game that has that same level of prestige. And Mortal Kombat, sure. this latest one, hasn't been received as well in fighting games as... as yeah, but that's not Max. because of the fighting... That's because of the friggin' stupid ass uh, tournament so, so, structure. So so it's it's been it's been half and half. People people have been liking it. I don't it, know. But I think the as... gameplay is excellent. I don't see anything wrong with that personally, but um, but I think I think Tekken for sure would take that crown 100. Yeah. Think, I think being yeah. as much as it is, I think the fact that all the DLC oh. is still being well done. Well Wait, made. hold on. Wait, shut shut up. Oh. Come on, do it. Do it. No balls. Do it. There is make, no balls. That, make that the lead. There, there is Wait, no how balls. many characters are in here? Five thousand. Jesus. It's a smash. <laughs> smash. Everybody's <laughs> here. Oh. Did you you got that my hero game, didn't you, Gore? Yeah, that game was fun. Uh, I look. I it just paused up on my on GameStop when I refreshed. Yeah, it's only twenty five. Uh, cool. So it's yeah, fun. I think I think hero will happen soon. I think in the next next two weeks, and I wouldn't be surprised if it yeah. happened the next couple of days. Oh, what becomes on my birthday? Everything's coming out on my birthday. Oh, like you'd give a fuck. Oh, no, I, I, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be seeing uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I don't give a shit about yeah. no stupid-ass hero. This weekend, I got I will be, I will be playing Dragon. I will be playing Dragon Quest Builders, too, though. I got I'm a lot of movies to watch this weekend. It's uh, Yesterday's finally showing up in my theater. No, it's the wrong oh, podcast, but yesterday just showed up. I'll, be, I'll uh, probably watch that. Stuber, I mean, and then tonight. what's the other movie that came out? Oh, um, Crawl. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hearing yeah, really so I'm gonna, good things. I'm going to watch all three. Yeah. I'll probably just take my Switch and play some Dragon Quest Builders in between, too. Hell yeah. Boy. All right. Uh, next next uh, story is um, Tetris 99 is getting a physical release in Japan and Europe. I heard. Yeah, so that's just one of those interesting things that uh, it seems like U.S. is missing out on a lot of physical releases. Uh, there's a ton of games that either through Asia specifically, like in those kind of South Asian regions, are getting released. Exactly. It's a perfect example. Uh, just a lot of companies aren't releasing stuff directly to America. And either Europe has been getting some, like uh, Europe's actually been getting some really great collector's editions too. Uh, like the Link's yeah, Awakening so remake. Yeah. yeah, that's phenomenal. And uh, Astral Chain is also getting a great collector's edition uh, in Europe that we're not getting stateside. And same with Damon X Machina. Uh, you know, so I, think, I think Mortal Kombat X had a really good one where it was like a really cool looking scorpion statue where we got like a kind of cool one, but not great. Uh, I think Europe got an exclusive one or something. There was another one that was like, I think, like exclusive to a different country. I was just like, come on, man. 
That's nice. Yeah, so it's kind of one of those bizarre things that we're kind of missing out on a lot of things. And Treacherous 99 is kind of a neat little gimmick game. It's definitely one I've kind of been keeping an eye on just because it's like, yeah, fuck it, it's free, why not? It's a lot. Uh, Dude, that thing fucking took my life for the solid two weeks after it came out. And also it's got uh, new modes coming out in the future. More yeah. offline play and, and play with friends. So, I mean, it's no, one of those me things too. that getting a physical edition would actually be kind of neat. Um, and it's interesting to see that Switch is definitely a platform that physical is becoming a weird resurgence as well. Uh, Enter the Gungeon is actually out getting a physical release uh, that has all the DLC built in, uh, which I actually might double dip on because when Special Reserve Games did theirs, uh, okay. I got that for the PS4. Uh, but that was when the Advanced Gungeons and Dragons came out. But this is like the last of all the content on the cartridge now. It was like, fuck, I might double dip just to have everything all in the one cart plus it'll only be like 30 bucks so yeah uh special reserve games just had a uh a physical copy of what was it called gris gree gry gris i call it gree gris i think I'm it's supposed gris. to be gree gree yeah because i think different. it's french gree uh-huh you ever go french and then have a stroke <laughs> I always go I French. Oh, oh, oh. That's me. Anyway, I got that. <laughs> they have like a, a version where it comes with like a um I think it comes with like an art book or a, uh, art book, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's art book. It just comes with a bunch of shit. I was like, all right, I'll get that. Yeah, because like the one that came from Special Reserve was kind of nice because it came with the uh, Dungeon Nomicon, where it was just kind of like a whole art book slash kind of that. monster manual for it. It was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna get that. They also had one for Absolver, but I didn't get that. Yeah, I didn't get that either. I didn't really care that much for Absolver. Uh, but I don't know. It, it's kind of one of those weird things that America is missing out on a lot of stuff. And especially now, we're also facing a lot of bizarre censorship from Sony of America, too. It's just kind of an odd time to be an American gamer right now in that regards. Or we're not anime this- titties. <laughs> Where, weirdly enough, our content's getting kind of censored beyond any other region, and for some reason we're not getting physical releases. It could just be genuinely the Western mentality has kind of given up on physical. Maybe that really is just the kind of sign that we really are just, generally speaking, tired of physical media here in the U.S., and other region developers just don't see a point in releasing physical to us. Yeah, that's one thing I will say, uh, is that I know everybody hates GameStop, but GameStop does some cool things where they have like physical games that are only digital, really. I yeah, mean, there like, might be like more. There might be more known games like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Three when that got yeah. re-released. Like went to Xbox and PS4 physical. Uh, they're having Metal Wolf Chaos. They have a physical for that. Okay, yeah, uh, when it which comes I'll to, be all uh, over yep. that. Yep. Uh, they had um, uh, Katamari. Katamari, I got that. Uh, they had um, what's the other one on Xbox? I was just thinking of it and I forgot. Shit, they had another one. There, there's a bunch. There's been a bunch. Oh, Borderlands. There you go. Borderlands they have, which right now I think is 15 bucks uh, on Xbox One. We got to play so, that some more, by the way. Sure. Um, I think there was other games, but yeah, yeah, GameStop sometimes does something cool. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, you, you won't see uh, Amazon really do that. I think Amazon did it once for Gravity Rush, and that was like it when it came to PS4. Right. But anyway, yeah, I, I like physical. All right. As long as physical is there and there is an option for digital, I think that's always... It, I always say that. I think that um, if, worst case, I think games go the style of, of vinyls where you'll find specialty stores sure. here and there. Uh, I don't think I don't think physical is going to go away forever, but I think there's going to be a, definitely a niche market eventually towards it. I would love if like, limited run games became a, like one of those specialty shops or something. I mean, yeah. They're a little store. Yeah, like an actual. I mean, obviously they wouldn't be able to make too many of them, but it would still be kind of cool. If there's like a few in the in America somewhere. You just go there. I mean, I guess you can kind of say that game shops do that anyway because they'll get limited run games, games, and you just right. oh, they have them for regular limited run. But games to see price. them like actually become like a larger publisher to where they could do like more in terms of limited run instead of it only being like maybe two, three thousand. Maybe it's right. more like a ten thousand run. Or yeah. maybe even do it's like, hey, we're a store exclusive. Maybe. Yeah, like a store exclusive thing. Or maybe even, hey, we're preparing a bulk order. Once we see enough people kind of pre order for it, we'll throw in another order for that game. You know, something yeah. that where... reminds me of uh, those drop websites, I think. I forget yeah. what they're called, but yeah, it's like if you Nash buy. Drop is one of them. Yeah. If you okay. buy, if like five, if, if like so many people order this, then it'll actually go through. 
Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I, there's yeah. some t-shirt uh, places that do that, right? Yeah. yeah. I've seen some people's campaigns do that, where it's just like, if you, this many people right. do it, then it becomes a thing or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would like to see uh, maybe some point down the road, limited run games become like an actual like larger publisher that could go ahead and kind of make more physical copies of games to be more accessible. Because I do think, unfortunately, in the next maybe five, ten years, that's going to be the only kind of resource we're going to have for physical anymore. I give it a decade, for sure. Uh, Man, we'll, off, we'll all be dead. We'll all be on. dead. We'll all be dead by then. So don't worry about. It. You'll be dead at least. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. I'll take you guys down with me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're alive, by the way. That's true. For everybody that's been listening to the podcast for the last couple of weeks, I had a friend that wanted to come kill me. <laughs> don't worry, I took, I took care of that quick. Uh, true. We see Gore, but we don't see him. No one will see him anymore. He hasn't been on Overwatch since then. <laughs> the only people that will see him is the worms. Yeah. They're not people. I like to consider them people. They're, they're helping me out right now. <laughs> <laughs> True, Earthworm Jim was an American hero. Groovy. Anyway. Speaking of worms, <laughs> Cuphead's oh, yeah? got a new cartoon. That has wow. <laughs> Is there yeah. a worm enemy in there? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Only one way to find um, out. There's a that's, sunflower. That's super hype. Uh, it sucks that you could tell that the style is not exactly what what is the game, which kind of sucks. But I mean, like, yeah, I love anything Cuphead, so like, whatever I can to get more of that, I'm down with. Um, I'm just happy uh, we're getting more Netflix video game adaptations because I mean they only have one right now, Castlevania. They're gonna have yeah, Devil May Cry also. Awesome. Good. Um, Castlevania's fucking the, uh, so good. The DLC, by the way, got got delayed for Cuphead. Um, yeah, I heard. Also, it's gotten rumored to be in March of next year because the uh, art book got also delayed until March of next year, and people are assuming that people are, they're just gonna add uh, art from the DLC into that. Gotcha. So, that's cool though. Uh, Cuphead deserves it. Cuphead's still one of the best looking games of all time. I love that game. I want to go back. I, I, that, that game is a game I cherish. I just don't want to beat because I'm like, oh, I just love. <laughs> I just love sitting there, just watching all the stuff. It's just, it's so fucking right. fun. It is cool. Um, I like it. Yeah. So this one is a David story. EDF five shadow drops. Yeah. So Sandlot Studios has a really bad habit of announcing PC releases. In the sense that uh, BDF 5 has already been out for over a year now, and we just got it end of last year in America, and basically uh, a couple days ago, they're like, oh, hey, guys, uh, PC version this Friday. Have fun. And I was like, oh, okay. And they did that before as well with uh, EDF 4.1 when that came to Steam, where it was like it was on uh, PS4 for, oh, God, almost two, three years at that point. And they're like, oh, hey, by the way, we're releasing a uh, Steam version in like two days. Have fun. And they just have a weird habit of shadow dropping uh, their fucking games on Steam. But seriously, cannot recommend it enough. If anyone uh, listening is a big fan of up to four player co op uh, shooters where you are mass annihilating groups of enemies and still like it to be very strategic, fucking get, get that in a heartbeat. Uh, the EDF series is phenomenal, and EDF 5 has been a massive improvement over 4.1. Uh, cannot recommend that game enough. Hell yeah. I, uh, yeah. Speaking of something like that, did you guys hear about the game They Are Billions? Yeah. I, I got an email about that, actually. Did you? I could, I could request a code or something. I was just like... I, I need to you should request, this. like, four of them. It looked, it looked cool. I'm not, the reviews weren't hot, but... Heard of them, but I haven't, I haven't seen. I, I what is have, it? I might have that, uh, that that email somewhere too. If you want to see, if we can get in on that. I'll down the stream. Um, it's a like tower defense uh, okay. slash town builder with you and friends can co-op. Ooh. I, I want to say you and friends can co-op. Let me double check. Oh, reviews are pretty good actually. No. They are. Oh, is it billions? Not millions. They are billions. Yeah. Let me double check uh, and see. Post apocalypse. Oh, first thing I see here, Metro game review. They are billions. It's Dark Souls of real time strategy. Oh, okay. I'm surprised we're still doing that. It's also steampunk. Um, it's actually been it's been out for two years. It says. Yeah. But I guess it's it's just officially oh, it's, released. It is only I guess. single player. Um, oh, it's only single player. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I thought it was one player. Nah, but uh, done. It still looks cool though. It still looks game phenomenal. Re- but you know what? I, it, it, when I was looking that up, it had a um, people also search for a thing. I really I really want to get Slay the Spire. 
Really, Slay the Spire is fantastic. I heard it's really good, and uh, it's on Switch, and I'm considering it. Uh, it's single player, right? That's it. That's. Uh, I'm not sure. I yeah, think it, it is. It is. Um, yeah, that looks cool. I really want to get that, but I don't, I don't know when I'm going to actually play it. So I'll, I'll wait, and maybe it will be on sale soon. Hopefully, probably not. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, David, do you have any other story that you want out of yours that we need? Because I'm, otherwise, I'm going to skip the rest. Just do the last couple that I have. Uh, there was only two left of mine, so yeah, we can skip those. Okay. So the next story is. Which is uh, one that I can't believe I fucking left off if it's the one I'm thinking of. G2A? Yeah. So, I can't believe I forgot to put that on there. Did you see what happened with G2A, Gore? Yeah. I, I saw them Christ. like messaging people or whatever. Yeah. So they uh, yeah. they messaged, I forget what, what, I don't know what outlet. Well, I don't know why they would ever message a guy named Thomas Faust. You think that'd be a bad idea? Uh, well, for the, well, GTA claims that it was an employee that they weren't. A rogue around. employee. Yeah, the devil himself. Don't condone his actions. Right. <laughs> Thomas Faust. He will be. He will have a stern talking to. Yeah. yeah. And then they will send him to Hades. <laughs> so they they uh Faust. they claim that yeah they, they that they didn't know. So what happened is that one of the one of the people that was working at this website screenshot an email from this guy named Adrian. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Uh, they um they showed them yeah they showed them that they were emailing asking about an article if they can post and they said can you post it without saying it's an advertisement and they said the article is called like why uh deleting scalped or uh, stolen keys is never possible or something and they posted that saying what the fuck dude wow. so it, it gets even worse because the article uh when you go into it talks about how it's impossible for anyone to steal a key and sell it on there because they ask for so much confirmation of who you are as a person that it would be like going into a police station with a gun and holding the cops for ransom. And it's like, ah, oh, I can't happen because you'll never leave there alive anyways. And it's just such a weird fucking asinine example that they're trying to give, despite the fact this happens constantly. And developers have been so vocal about uh, how horrible G2A is to the point where there's like, pirate our shit. Do not buy anything from them. Because there's one developer, I wish I could remember the name of the studio off the top of my head. Yeah, it's from, the, from Descenders or something. Yeah, Descenders. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Where they were just like... Week. Yeah. And the fact that they're not even selling keys to their games on there they're selling steam gifts to their games on there yeah. so people are getting a sale of the steam gift and then the steam gift is getting fucking hijacked back so um one of the people i follow wow. back from the final smash days uh chris Steele, he was one of the guys that fun infused games um he was big on, it, it wasn't like big but he did a lot of games in the xbox live indie marketplace um and he kind of he, he goes off on them every single time you can see them um, but yeah, he, every time when, when they're like, oh, you know, you can message whatever. He's like, nah, I message you guys all the time and y'all ain't listening. And he was like, I never gave out codes to my games. I, I don't know where any of these are coming from. These are definitely not mine. So he, uh, let's see. Yeah. Like his last thing is like, always check who you're arguing for investing a lot of time. Take G2A underscore com, for example, everyone defends them or accounts that with barely any followers and tweets like defending G2A. Uh, for example, and he gives a a uh, account on here, which I'm gonna look through right now. Uh, he has seven tweets. Oh. Um. Seven whole tweets. And a lot of it is just uh, defending G2A. Oh wow, that's convenient. So. Yeah, so uh, he I, I I like following him because he he's definitely I like just following developers that have a good eye and, and are more keen on this rather than the people that are like oh you know they can mention whenever because half the time it's it's not true. Um, but yeah, th this is nonsense. That 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 that's that's kind of a tr like that that's super egregious in general of messaging anyone saying you want that. <laughs> um, make that make that like I don't know what that guy was thinking, but he he if he has not lost his job then I don't know what the fuck. Should get his ass beat. Also, I just noticed that G2A's uh, Twitter is 
the best source of video game deals on the internet. Welcome, Deal Hunter. Join our community. Hashtag gamers and hashtag geeks. Oh, gamers and geeks. The two markets. Too bad they didn't market it to nerds, too. Oh, well. Fucking nerds. Fucking nerds. So, did we figure out what G2A meant by now? No. Like, it's been no. a week. Yeah, it's Good. Games to Auction, I think, was that. Or Games yeah, to All, what? something like that. Games to All, that makes more sense than Games to Auction. I get that it's, it is like an auction site, kind of, right? Yeah, it is, basically. Yeah. But that doesn't, that doesn't sound appealing. You don't sound appealing. <laughs> games to Auction. It's like if eBay was just called e-auction, so or like or like sell your shit. Oh, that's a good name. Shoot. Hey, that was you the original name sell for your eBay. Shit? Yeah, sell your shit. G T A. It'll be a. It'll be a G T A. Uh, uh, oh no, I can't think of a funny. Uh, it's okay, Gore. I think it's be, time to put Papa Gore down. Okay. I'll just go RP in peace, buddy. Mrs. Mrs. Gore, the movie guys. I'll just sleep. <laughs> the strokes finally come for him. All right. Uh, uh, next story tell is. Tell Mrs. Gore to love her. <laughs> Pokemon Gore. <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Gore. Go. Pokemon Gore. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Go grows more than Candy Crush in its first three years. On track to cross $3 billion in 2019. Wow. So um, there's a uh, chart here. That shows uh, four games. Oh, I love charts. Candy Crush Saga, Clash Royale, Pokemon Go, and Clash of Clans. 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 Um, spending for the Tom first three Clancy. years. <laughs> Tom Clancy. Dude, uh, dude, dude, dude. So in, in its first three years, Candy Crush Saga sold $1.86 billion, And Clash Royale, $2.3 billion. Pokemon Go, $2.65 billion, And Clash of Clans, $3.15 billion. So in those echelon of games, Pokemon Go is like second right there. Um, Whoa. Which one is the one where they had um, uh, what's her name? The the one with the big, you know, uh, in the uh, advertisements, the phone game. I forgot her name, but she has big brains. You know, I don't know what you're watching, Gore. Porn, probably. <laughs> no, I forgot. No, I, I forgot her name. I don't know her name. Eh, whatever. There was one that's like it, it was like po- really popular for a little while because it was like it was because you know she got you know. Uh, but also oh, it was gross. really stupid. It was really dumb. I mean, it was for one of these phone games. SNK heroines. Yeah, it was the, that's a fun game. <laughs> uh, Eventually, yeah, so, it'll only be a mobile game. So Pokemon Go is still light. fucking doing nuts right now, and, and people think it's dead, but really, it's it's. It's not as fucking everywhere as it was, but the people that follow yeah. it still follow it pretty religiously. But now people are like for the first month where you just go to a mall and see like Dude, five. That that was like one of my favorite that times. Crazy. That was my favorite times in video games, just in general. Like yeah, that was cool. It was cool. That just was going going to the dope. mall and just, I went to the mall a few times just to see like. Dude, oh, I, I, went I went to. Went to there's a field near my house that's just – it's just a field. It's not really a park or anything. It's just a giant open field. And there, uh, we went – me and Gerard went there, my friend, and it was filled with people. They didn't even have a meeting. We just went there because we knew it was a field. So we were like, let's go there. And there was tons of people just fucking walking around um, catching Pokemon. I, I remember at uh, – I would go to my, my college campus at like 10 o'clock at night. And just hundreds of people just in the fucking just in the in the courtyard. You hear someone yeah. go Arcanine and fucking like so many people just fucking just sprinting. <laughs> it's like a over World War Z horde. Um, it's like... <laughs> there was that. There was a time at my old apartment. Um, there was a park that was uh less less than a mile away. Um, it was yeah, it was super late, and uh, someone dropped a lure down. And some people were like, oh, don't go, don't go to lures at night. You might get kidnapped. But I thought it'd be funny. So I went down to the park, and dude, straight up, it's 11 o'clock at night, and there's just families hanging out there at 11 o'clock at night, just walking around catching Pokemon. There's, there's not even streetlights everywhere. You're just like in the dark, everyone's like roaming around. It's nuts. That's I, I love that, dude. That was super dope, but uh, wow. that's never going to happen again in our lifetimes. No, that's not true. Harry Potter just came out. That's not going to happen. <laughs> no, it's, um, not, it's, already, it's already not happening, so. Yeah. <laughs> but a uh, super cool moment, but yeah, so it's still doing crazy. Um. 
I, I try to play every now and then, but I just I'm I lost interest. After I don't tracking, even have it on my phone anymore. After tracking was gone, like initially, I I was kind of over it. Oh yeah, the tracking where you get actually like oh there's you have to like start moving the, the towards footsteps something. and more footsteps you had the closer you are. Yeah. I know they added it kind of back. But I, 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 I thought they it that yeah way. I thought they put it back. In yeah, some... now it tells you around this like certain places it's at. And I'm like I'm I I just I miss. I, I did like that like you just like you have to figure out which way to go or whatever. But they had fine. to turn it off because the fucking servers were dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, but yeah, that 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 was a cool moment. So good that, for that game. Yeah, good for Pokemon. Who would have who would have known Pokemon would do well? Wow, what a fucking surprise that was. Speaking of Whoa. doing well, Switch Pokemon Lite. did well. Holy shit! The Switch Lite was announced today. Is a yes, Switch was. Switch model that is hand like handheld only. Uh, cannot <laughs> can be I? docked. Uh, can the Joy Cons do not disconnect? It is smaller. Thinner, uh, kind of smaller. Yeah, it's slightly not too much. smaller. Um, it's also and, now and now it adopted. CIR, yeah, lost H HD rumble, lost motion tracking. And it, it's adopted the the great design of the 2DS by looking like a hunk of plastic crap. So that's yeah, good. that bezel is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and also the colors are uh, puke I, I like so, I like the color. I like I like turquoise a lot. I would have definitely got yeah, turquoise I need you, one. Would you? Turquoise. Is I actually kind of like the yellow, but. No, the yellow looks like piss. Like it's it bad. Like <laughs> uh, I, I actually don't mind the gray and, and the turquoise at all. Um, whatever. But not that I, I would I would not pick these up. Uh, it's not yeah, for me. Gray but... looks fine, but it looks boring. You know, it's just like look at, look at your switch. Know. My switch has colors. I don't have them. Yeah, That's fuck you. Yeah, whatever. My switch guy SNK Air <laughs> Uh, okay. yeah. So it, it's cool that it happened. Uh. It it I never would have I I knew it would have happened but in my head I was also thinking it wouldn't happen because it's like that takes away from the entire idea of the switch and it, and it nullifies a lot of games. Now can we talk about the video that they posted? Because oh, they like, went back they went back to old school switch marketing where it's like oh these people are hanging out but look at my switch. <laughs> I want a Mario Kart. I'm like you still showing Mario Kart? <laughs> It's like, like they can't show once you switch, I guess, because you can't. But fucking like, play. but like the reality but, of people playing it in public is like at a con in the corner where a bunch of sweaty pit, like kids are just hanging out there, like not wanting. Yeah, to just walk one sad dude here. There you go. That's the reality. There you go. <laughs> playing whatever. I don't know. Some fucking weeb game, probably. That's That's a a hero hero <laughs> 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 but yeah, no. So it, it, all these all these beautiful people just hanging out there. All, uh, nice sunny day. Everyone's right? hanging out. You know, everybody's it, skateboarding like everybody does. Even still. you can't see the screen because it's too bright outside. <laughs> right. I love that everybody's skateboarding still. That's yeah, there was a bunch of people there skateboarding. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know it was the '90s still. Um, like, I at the marketing though. I get the marketing, but it it's just funny to anyone that's like an actual like in that's actually like their day one for everything. Because I guess that's, that's not what happened. The funniest thing about that video, though, is the beginning where what's they his name? They're switching their in their backpack. No, 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 not even that part where, where he comes out. What's his name? The magic guy that does the snaps. I don't know, but Yoshi, you is his it... name like Yoshi? Todd something? Howard. Todd Howard. It was Todd Howard. No, but we should learn uh, that guy's name because he's been in a lot of directions. Yeah, I know. Every time I see him, I'm just like doing magic trick while he's saying his name. <laughs> it's like so I never learned it. Yoshitaki, is that it? I think that sounds right. Todd Bromley. Yeah, or am I just being racist by saying Yoshi or something? I think his name is Yoshitaki. I, I Yo thought, something. Yo, I'm going to just call him Yo. Yo. Sure. Yo. But anyway, he he comes out. I love that he's just like, here's the switch. You can dock it. You can, yeah. you can play on the co. You can take these little things off and stuff. Guess what? Can't do that anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. It's just like it was all a really, great things. It was a really weird approach, but I don't know. Um. It was weird that they said like the switch is awesome. You can take it, and you can put it in the, the switch. It's called it, the, you can suck it's called, it. You can fuck it. You can still get it in your mouth. Uh, I just think I like that it's called the switch for because you can switch it to your TV, and now you can't do that. So someone, <laughs> like, someone on Twitter had a really good thing where they had a, they they edited the logo for switch. Yeah. Click. Then they had a switch light. Clock. <laughs> just just clock. <laughs> It doesn't fit. Yeah. <laughs> or it just like starts no, you just drop the switch, in. so you just hear. Oh, oh shit! This <laughs> is. Um, well, you switched it from working to not working. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so uh, I I don't know. Uh, it's cool that it happened. It's not for me. I'm I'm waiting for a pro version, which is when I'll 100 percent upgrade. Oh, that's what I'm waiting for too, because uh, if a pro version comes along, that'll be my justification upgrade, and then finally get around to modding my current one. 
I wonder how the transfer service is going to work on switches. Terribly. I I I had hoped that they would fix that from uh, nope. the 3D. Oh, well, actually, 3DS wasn't too bad actually, because 3DS. All 3DS was, wasn't great, but it wasn't too bad. All you had to throw was uh, was go on a computer, throw a uh, copy over the files over to one and the other one. That wasn't that or, bad, but uh. Or you can um. Can you do something else? I thought you could just like. There was like a network transfer. Yeah, was, and that's what I did with my first 3DS. Switch. If it was, if it was a, Switch. Pro, if it was a profile transfer, and you could play games on both consoles with your profile on it, that'd be dope. I don't think that's possible. Um, that'd be dope though, because I I even consider another Switch just because I want to be like, oh, I'll leave that one at home and do another one there or something like that. Well, yeah, remember, man. Nintendo is not behind the times. Uh, they told their investors that they, they fully the understand times. this internet thing and that uh, they, they're they not behind in any way, shape, or form. They told you, their investors. Did you hear that? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So Nintendo had an investor uh, conference meeting. Uh, one of the kind of neat things that came from it is they were talking about potentially adding 5G into Switch. Whoa. Uh, to kind of... So that might be kind of alluding to the Switch Pro version we could be getting down the line. Uh, but one of the concerns that uh, the investors had were like, so n- internet, you guys seem to be pretty terrible at your internet services. And VR, we're kind of concerned about that. And I was like, look, don't worry about the VR. We're just dipping our toes into it right now. And in fact, it's still a very uh, young market. No one really knows what the hell they're doing, which that's a legitimate thing. Uh, I still think it is kind of silly to try and force VR into switch. It's a neat idea, I guess for its limited uses, I, but the VR is right. a thing that's still off like another gen. And, yeah. and, and even then it's going to be like halfway through that gen that we're going to care. So yeah. I know I'm, I'm like, oh. I'm getting so excited about the possibility of a Black Friday Oculus Quest sale that I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm wanting one, man. Oculus Quest looks pretty sweet. Uh, hey, know, hey, really how want... much is it? $300 right now? Yeah, something like that. 300, 300 or 400 bucks right now. For a wireless, like, it's self-contained thing? Like, that's... Yeah, I don't, I, I'm kind of on the fence about selling my Vive and just it's really kind of too. upgrading to something different that is wireless because I setting up the really Vive good. with all the wires is a pain in the ass. I've heard, yeah. I've seen people, even, like, Even the, PS, up, even the PSVR is such a fucking pain. Yeah, um, PSVR is not as bad, though. So, I mean, you just have to set up the wires for the connection, obviously. So but. Oculus, uh, the Quest, the 128 gig is 500 bucks, 64 gig is 400 bucks. Uh, okay. Is that expandable? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming yes. Let me see. Survey says yeah. most, um, most consoles of some sort have expandable memory, so or storage, just to say. So even the even Nintendo has that. Zebo doesn't. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, no, it, it's I mean, will you ever stop playing Tekken 2 though? I mean, really. Probably it, not. Tekken it, 2 is a damn good game. It is. It's Tekken not expandable. 3. It's not? Really? No. Well, those games, you, you'll you never want to not uh, play another game ever. Don't worry about it. That, that does have Beat Saber, right? I thought yeah. they were advertising that. I really yeah. want Beat Saber just without all the fucking wires. That'd be sweet. Do you take it on the go? Yeah, so... <laughs> In the middle of a mall. I, I will probably, if the Oculus, if the 128 gig goes on sale for like... 350 yeah it's gonna hurt but i might just do it because i really want just a, a more accessible vr because i hate setting up the psvr dude i i hate it i fucking I hate, hate it. it that's fine i just don't like the wire that's it that, that's so annoying um you know what you know what i do hate though is uh whenever they um have like a new vr experience thing and i do want to check it out and i have to set it up just to watch a five minute video <laughs> It's so like, you know, those VR experience things. Yeah. Like online or whatever. I haven't done one in a little while, but I did one for like the last Alien. And I had to fucking like set up my PS VR and shit. It was just for like a three minute clip. I'm just like, this is a nightmare. <laughs> just for three minutes. It was like, Jesus. Right. But uh, they need to have some more. Uh, I, I, I hear the Oculus Quest is so fucking cool, though. I know. Everyone, everyone I hear talk about it just, just says so fucking just high praises. Uh, by the way. Are you doing I've, I've been wa- yeah, I've been marking. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Also, I don't know. I'll get back on track. Switch Lite. It's cool. Yes. Sure. <laughs> it's whatever you say. It, if it was 150, it would be sweet. Yeah, that's the general because you're because you're cutting out a lot. Uh, like, yeah, you cut out like half of the cool I, shit. So I think fucking cut I the think, price half. I it's not. I it's, they put themselves in a weird fucking issue with the dock. 
Yeah. Because I feel like what it's got to be weird because the dock you got to it's, it's specific size, right? So if it gets thicker or smaller, the dock's not gonna work. Um, but if they made this dockable, that'd be cool. I think I think that would have been that would have been the big the big save there. Would if this made, yeah. they made this dockable. Um, like even if they had it, you had to do some sort of different way, like maybe just a cord, like that came with it. Like oh, you can't dock it, but you can still like this is made mainly for portable. But if you really want to use it at your house, then you have to do it a different way or something like that. Right, but then they at just that said, point, all you're taking away is the Joy Cons, and at which point it's like, why? Why do you care? Yeah, I don't give a fuck about Joy Cons. Uh, speaking use... of, that's the biggest thing that people have to say is that Joy Cons have a pretty decent tendency to, to start drifting. Uh, Mine so, started drifting, so yeah. Yeah, so we hope that they fix that here. Because uh, apparently the, the fix is like just some shitty glue they use inside the Joy Con. Uh, yeah, you so, can I mean, fix it yourself, but I didn't yeah. feel like doing it. So I just uh, got it. But yeah, so anyone else have anything, about, anything to say about the Switch Pro or Switch Lite? Uh, I, it's a good idea. It looks like I don't like the look of it. And I don't even care about the colors, really. I mean, I do, but no, I'm not. that's not my main problem. It's just like it looks. Looks like a baby. Do you toy. remember the fucking colors? It looks like a leapfrog or some shit. Do you remember like, the whatever. colors with when the Wii was first shown off? Oh, well, wasn't it just white and black? No, when the hold on, let me show you guys. Let's, let's you. Guys, you remember this? I guess we yeah, so uh, uh, Let's see images. This is it. All right. Let me copy this image. <laughs> I can't do that. Are you guys both in the Slack channel right now? Yeah. Sure. I was trying to do beatbox. I can't do the. I can't. I can't. So that, do... Oh, ew. ew! So when they first ew! Showed, when they first showed off the Wii, they showed it off with those five colors. Ew. And I was so excited to get some fucking lime green Wii, dude. I was like, oh, I want that fucking green. And, well, or, or that, but legit, that silver one looked fucking clean in the back. Yeah, silver yeah. That, you know nice. why? Because the stand matches with it. That's why. Yeah. But, uh, that's why the fucking the red one and the green one's really not doing it for me. Uh, in so a go, in a goofy way, the lime green, sure. But in a goofy way, I was so excited. Yeah. Fucking, however old me was like excited. I was like, I want fucking the green one. And it, sure enough, they just never happened. When you had the weed, did you ever put it in the stand, or did you have a, like it was set, laying down? Okay, I had it laying down, so I never used the stand. So yeah, mine was always in the stand. Yeah, actually, um, I think mine right now is a uh, is in the stand, but I'm not using it, so it just takes up less room if I have it in the stand. But um, in my in my bookcase. Yeah, that, that was the, that was one of the first uh, pictures they showed off of the Wii, and that was I was ready, dude. Good times. You're ready. You're like uh, I don't care about the games. I just want a lime green console. Lime green, baby. Hell lime yeah. Green. All right. Hell yeah. Let's play bullshit. What, what what color is the Zebo though? That's the question. Silver. How oh, many white. colors does the Zebo have? Just white? Okay. White. That's that's why I fell. I only had white. Let's play. Let's play game. bullshit. Actually, no. It came in white and black. <laughs> I think mine is the white one, which is weird because it's one of the few non-black consoles I have. Let's play bullshit. Bullshit. All right, our bullshit is bullshit. Week. I bought Zebo. <laughs> Is that bullshit? Uh, is that you, bullshit? Had, you had the uh, orig original if hero was going to happen soon. That, I, I skipped that. Uh, so our, our bullshit is now going to be... Is, when is Switch Pro happening? We I think we did a bullshit re um, uh, uh, one week of whether or not the Switch uh, Lite and Pro would happen. But now that the Lite's a thing, let's talk about Do you mean Pro. will it happen? Or... Pro is going to happen. Because it, it, when, when, when will it happen doesn't really fit with bullshit. Because bullshit you is just like. Do you think it'll happen by the end of next year? No. Well, I think it'll be a 2021 thing. I don't think. I think it's going to happen. And it's not going to be until like late next year. I think. The earliest. That's the earliest. I think. Hmm. That's just me. But it's not really. That doesn't really you feel think, bullshit. You think they'd release bullshit, it? bullshit would be. Well, bullshit would be like. Do you think it's going to happen? Period. That's bullshit. I don't. This is my rules. But that doesn't feel with bullshit. <laughs> I think it'll be a 2021 release because by that point they'll be looking for a refresh of the main line. I think it'd be happening. I think it happened next spring. Next because, spring. Because I don't think they're gonna avoid the PS5 and the Xbox, fucking 92 or whatever. 
Oh, okay. Well, I, I think the Switch Pro could come out like September. I mean, this one's coming out September. I could see it next year, September. But uh, you, you don't think that'll, that, you that'll don't definitely think... be away from PS4 and I mean PS5 and Xbox. But you think series. they want to share that 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 holiday season with them being so close? To but it? if the Switch Pro is just like a thing, you know? You don't think? How about? But the way I see it is that they they'd be like, all right, it's the third anniversary of the Switch. Let's fucking get yoked. <laughs> Let's get yoked. Let's get yoked. <laughs> I, 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 I want to doing... see your Doug Bowser say that. <laughs> Let's get yoked. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Doug Bowser here. Time to get fucking yoked. I, I can you see never hear it. Reggie say this, fam. Get yoked. <laughs> Doug, Doug Bowser will come out and say, "Fuck Reggie." <laughs> Time to get yoked, and then he explodes, and then it just shows the pro, the Switch Pro, the Switch Blade. Oh, call it the Switch Blade. The Switch Bro. The switch, the switch, the switch yoked. Oh, game, uh, Switch Boy, call that. It looks like it's a Game Boy <laughs> for some reason. It looks like a Virtual like, Boy. This, this looks horrible. I don't know this is. Quick side note: I noticed since having the fucking Infinity Stones going, my camera hasn't done the weird flickering thing. Oh, the Infinity. Go- oh, you should yeah. do that from now on. Wait, oh, I would love if <laughs> I it bought it a new did. webcam, which will be in for next step. Uh, I would love if it did it right one. <laughs> <where you said. laughs> No, you know why? It's because it, it realizes a constant fucking actual stream of light I, going on. Yeah. So it's, it's focusing on that. It said it was a murky yellow. It, is, it seems really clear on them. Like, much more clear than it is on you. You're a little blurry. Those eggs look good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have me some breakfast. <laughs> All right. That, that was... Yes, no. Cosmic breakfast. That was a Blue Ruby podcast. Yes, yes, it's talking about yoke, yoke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at yeah, you can Punks. Find on you can find yeah. Gore on right here. What's up, baby? Uh, uh, what was that? What was that? Grinder. Yeah, a grinder. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what was? Wasn't there a uh, a service we used? Wait, this is like eight, seven years, eight years ago, where we found two. We found two social medias and oh. oh, yeah. oh. It was uh, L-O, and it was Sue. Yeah, Sue. T S. Yeah. It wasn't eight years ago. That was like 2016. No, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was like 2015, 16. It was definitely not eight years ago. (laughs) It's definitely not eight years ago. I can assure you that right now. Maybe 2014, but it was no eight years ago. All right, he's going to look it up. We'll be right back. (laughs) Give give David a shout-out. Yeah, uh, David, you can find him in the back alley of some weeb convention. Uh, he'll be giving handies. And, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm looking at another console I might get at some point. Oh, what, uh, Zebo 2? Uh, no, it's All called right. the Game King 2. All right, Never heard of it. All right, Gore, you're, you're, you're right. If you can name the month and the year, I'll take away David's point. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> of, of what? When the Sue and uh, Ello? The, those when, came when, out like did, when did Ello come out? What, what was the the? I'm oh, gonna rather, s- rather, how about this? How about this? I don't know the actual time. When did I sign up for Ello? When did you sign up for Ello? Yeah. I'm gonna say 20. I said 2015 or 2016, so it could be either of those two years, right? I'm gonna say it was 2015 October. Fuck it. David, you keep the point. It okay. was yeah. actually September of 2014. Oh, see, I was I was close with the month. <laughs> All right, 2014. See, well, no, eight years ago. Uh, but yeah, so Ello was the one that was like only text-based, super minimalist, and Sue was the one yeah. that paid you for every post. They paid you, yeah. Uh, I'm sure that. I, see, let's go back on Sue. I'm sure it's doing really well right now. Let's see, I mentioned it's like really, like really, really popular. We just never heard of it anymore. Like, whoa! Uh, buy the Sue.com domain name. Upgrade your. <laughs> <laughs> buy, now, buy now for nine hundred eighty-three thousand dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the name is least, worth that much. At least they went out on a high note, you know. Oh, that's like a normal PewDiePie payday. Shout out to PewDiePie. I know he watches. Everyone, uh, subscribe from PewDiePie. Subscribe to Pro Jared. Yeah. He needs it right now. Yeah, it's so, kind of so suffering. Some reason, yeah, some reason people want to subscribe for him. What do you do? L- Ello uh, is still going. What you, you give a bad review to something? Metal Gear yeah, Rising probably. again? Yeah. <laughs> he gave it a broken marriage out of 10 or some shit like that. Oh, that's weird. I'm glad his marriage is doing okay. 
I know. Him and Katie, or whatever her name is, doing yeah, really well. Built to last. Built to last. Just like, uh, just, just like, like this podcast. Just like Holly and Ross. Hey. Just like the Infinity Eggs. <laughs>